And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Air Podcast. After hours edition, we'll join Celine the Dream and seven lovely ladies. Gregory, I got a great show planned for you guys. Let's it's not like this right now. Let's get into it. <laughs> All the night is my world. City light, ain't it good? I mean, listen, if you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're more than welcome. To leave. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to serious. leave? Get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not the same. I must believe in something, so I'll make myself believe it. It's my turn. All right, and we're we back. are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Air Podcast After Hours Edition. We're joined Slim the Dream and seven lovely ladies, guys. Quick notes before we get into the show. And don't worry, ladies, you can look at the screen now. Don't worry about it. They're like, oh, shit, what the hell? <laughs> uh, uh, guys, check us out on uh, patreon.com slash fresh Get all the behind-the-scenes content to include, you know, that ridiculous girl that we had on, like, what, two nights ago that was trying to... It's up. The reality star. Fucking the reality star. Oh, yeah. oh and just so y'all know, oh, Byron, you all out, blah, blah, blah. Bro, she had her friend here recording the whole time. They were trying to get a viral moment. Oh, y'all didn't know that, did you? Okay, exactly. So, um, yeah, guys, she was here trying to get some fucking clout, whatever. She po posted on Instagram, trying to tag me, whatever. I was like, bro, you're fucking thirsty. But uh, that's a whole other thing. Anyway, check us out over there, patreon.com slash freshfit. Uh, you just posted some stuff on there as well recently, right? Yep, we posted a behind the scenes of Swaley's uh, vacation party. We posted as well a double day vlog, and then also a Zoom call, I believe, and then the Frank Castle from the two days ago. Bam. So check us out over there, guys. Also, check us out on anchor.fm slash freshfit. Anchor.fm slash freshfit, guys. On there, you get all the... Well, not behind the scenes, but you get the audio versions of the podcast, whether you want to listen on Spotify, Apple, or Google Podcasts, whatever it may be. Just make sure you wear headphones so you don't get fired from your job, goddammit, all right? We're not politically correct, and if you play us out loud, you probably will get in trouble. We've already heard, gotten a bunch of DMs from people saying that I got fired from my job for listening to you guys on the, uh, on the job, so don't do it. Also, get the merch, guys, FreshShirtPodcastStore.com. You can get all the t-shirts, hoodies, etc. You can get the t-shirt here, which I'm wearing, the Who Hurt You shirt, which is what every girl pretty much says when you state something, a fact that, you know... It reveals unflattering <laughs> realities about female nature. So FreshFitPodcast.com. Check us out over there, okay, guys? Get the Who Hurt You shirts and the I Feel Like shirts. Also, check us out on Fresh Fit Clips, guys, our other YouTube channel. If you don't got time to watch the two- to three-hour podcast of me losing hair follicles in slow time, go ahead and watch me lose my hair follicles in real time on Fresh Fit Clips. All right, guys? We post two clips on there per day. They're somewhere between two to ten minutes uh, long. You know, watch them in between your work shifts or whatever the fuck you want to do. Fresh Fit Clips. 75% of the people that watch that channel are not subscribed, guys, so subscribe to that goddamn channel. And then also, Fresh, you got uh, something you want to tell them? And guys, check out the vlog channel, man. We're doing vlogs, live streams. And look, man, you never know what might happen. Show them my Balcony gang, BBC gang in the chat. 100k on the way. Let's go. And we will have a surprise guest when I come back from Barbados. So shout out to y'all, man. And then uh, last but not least, guys, go check out my other YouTube channel. It's called Feta1811. On there, I break down criminal cases for you guys. I recently did the Takashi 69 case where I broke down the racketeering charges against him. I broke down his other co-defendants, why he actually snitched, why the feds had to pick him up the way they did so abruptly. Um, and yeah, a lot of insider stuff that you guys might have not known just from watching the news. Uh, as you guys know, I used to work for the agency that arrested him. Uh, I was in the Florida Miami field office while you know the New York office did the case. So yeah, man, a lot of cool stuff on there. It was a four-hour stream. I break down the kidnapping video, a bunch of crazy shit on there. So if you guys want to know the behind the scenes on that, check it out. Also, I did the YNW Melly case, which that one's gonna go to trial here very soon. Mm -hmm. And then I did uh, Pusha T, Y Cell Rico, pretty much any famous criminal case that you guys have heard of in the in the news. I've broken it down from the uh, perspective of former Fed. So check it out, man. Interesting stuff. Other than that, we got some lovely ladies on the. Pa oh no, Chris, your turn. My bad. Yes, ladies, do you mean? Aaron C. Poxon on ING. Make sure if you want to come to our show, you're flying in from any other state to Miami. Let's make it happen. Don't flake. If you flake, and yeah. Banish the happen. shadow realm. Yep, pretty you much. No you be All right, cool. All right. Uh, so we got some ladies in the house. We introduce them. So ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, current dating status, education level, and if you want to, of course, your body count. And we'll start right here. <laughs> I go by the name K Banks, and when you say K, don't forget the Banks, because I ain't fucking with no lame-ass niggas sharing chains. I am K Banks from Miami, Florida. Um, I am 28 years old. Um, I am a rapper. I'm up and coming. Mm -hmm. um, I have a daughter, and I am single, because I am fuck nigga free. <laughs> period. <laughs> 
Okay. Period poo. Period poo. And um, yeah, that's about it. So, so I know earlier you did like a bar for us. Could you do, do one for the podcast real quick? Some, I'm a real boss. Bitch, I get my own money. I don't got to suck dick. These hoes, they be hating because they know that I'm lit. And if you took my nigga, girl, that's leftover dick. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, right. That was uh, <laughs> um, lovely. Okay, so a uh, question, because a lot of girls use this term. Uh, can you define what a fuck nigga is <sighs> for us, Man, for people a- that may not know? Okay, a fuck nigga is a nigga that is a fuck nigga. Like, it's self-explanatory. It no, no, it don't. It, it's self-explanatory because if you a nigga, right, like you a nigga, and you ain't shit, you just ain't shit. You, what, you want me to go into details? Yeah, I mean, I would hope so, yes. Some that's niggas, why I asked. Okay, some <laughs> niggas, all right, look, some niggas come into your life, right? Yeah. They be promising you shit. They be good for the first two, three months, and then mm. they be whole assholes. They be selling you dreams, bitch, and they be at their mama house, sleeping on the couch, oh. ain't got shit going on. They be capping. Be capping. These niggas, man. Oh, like how girls sell dreams Damn with, with uh, makeup. That too, but we ain't gonna talk about that. that ain't, it's not about us right now. He said, what is fuck niggas? Like, what is a fuck nigga? I'm okay, explaining gotcha, a fuck gotcha, nigga. Right, I gotcha. thought niggas that just fuck. But. No, it's not. You know what it is, because you probably a fuck nigga too. <laughs> Me? Oh, oh shit. Man, no, God. I'm just saying. I would never. Okay. We I go to church. Okay. You know, it, it's always funny to me that's when girls... Not- Say that's the things that they say like period and fuck nigga. Like that's that's like me running around like, oh my god, that prude bitch, prude bitch. I'm, I don't fuck with prude bitches. You know what I'm saying? Or if I went around and said, uh, asked a question like, hey, so what's your age? Question mark. Like, what, what, what? you see how crazy that shit sounds, bro? Because like, when girls act super, that question mark. Okay, okay, never mind. Lovely. It's always funny when you take like female logic and then use it back on the male side. It's like so crazy, bro. Like if I ran around saying "prude bitches," I hate prude bitches. I hate them. You'd be like, "What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with this guy?" You're prude bitch free. But we let girls run around and say "fuck nigga, fuck nigga." Yeah, that's he's a pussy. not true. That's not true because if y'all really let us do that, it wouldn't be a lot of people doing remixes right now. That's not true. They uh, they're, they doing remixes right now from the fuck nigga free. The ni- the niggas are doing it right now. No, no, no. You're missing the point. I- I'm saying like it's socially acceptable. For women to run around and say "fuck nigga," it's period. Not. It's hundred percent socially acceptable. It's in the music. Period. Yes, but yeah. not "fuck nigga." Yeah, it's socially. Do you know? You, you do realize the reason I asked you that question is because like hundreds of girls have come on the show before you that That's use that true. term. So it's socially acceptable. You're right. You're Versus right. if I acted like a girl and said "prude bitches," they'd be like, "What the fuck is wrong with this nigga?" But what right. the hell? You right. But anyway, you made that FNF song. Okay, I got you. <laughs> what about you? My name is Jenny. I'm 24. I'm currently a dental assistant. Um, I couldn't tell. Why not? Nice teeth. Thank you. (laughs) 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 Okay. Um, (laughs) What else was it? Dating status? Dating status? I have a boyfriend. Okay. How long? We've been together for three years. Damn, nice. Okay, question. Are you going to get that ring? I was about to say. Of course. <laughs> nice. Okay. If you're watching out there, don't do it. No, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you probably is watching. Oh, like, oh shit. Oh, oh, she God. really expects the ring. Cool. Uh, and then uh, what's your highest education level completed? Uh, well, I have some college. Okay. You did what? Two years? Three years? Three years. Three years? Okay. Yeah. You said fuck this shit. I'm cleaning teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Okay. I mean, that's always what I wanted to do. So okay, okay. All right. Are you gonna like? Do you want to be a dentist or something? Or are you? I don't want to be a dentist. I do want to go into de- dental lab technician. So I okay. want to fabricate crowns, partials, dentures. That's eventually what I would like to do. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, and then, what's your highest education level completed, uh, Miss Fuck Nigga? Oh, I did two years of college. Two years. Okay. Yes. Do you have your associate's degree or no? Okay. I did funeral services and I was done with it. There's a, there's a major called funeral services. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Mortician is mortician. Oh, okay. All oh, right. Okay. Mortuary science. Right. Think about it. Someone has to die every single day. Yeah, it's a good business. It's a good business. Great business. You'll yeah. never go out yeah. of business. But what yeah. made you want to do that though? That's weird. Child, I don't know. Like, I, after high school, I ain't know what the hell I want to do with oh, my life. Oh, you, you t- uh, that you t- fuck t- nigga pissed her off. Clearly, she was nah, nah, nah. <laughs> 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 professional. Yeah, yeah so uh, pay for it. Professional, okay. definitely not. But fantastic. All right, what about you? My name's Abby. I'm 24. I'm a registered behavior technician. So I work with kids who have autism and developmental disabilities. Oh, okay. I have a master's degree and I'm single. Wow. Damn All fun. right. Shout out to you. Cool. And um, where'd you do your undergrad? Well, your undergrad and your master's. My undergrad. So I'm from Pennsylvania around the Pittsburgh area. So my undergrad is from Clarion University. It's okay. a very like small athletics. It's D2. So okay. like six grand undergrad, like 6,000 kids. Yep. I got my grad graduate degree from Pitt. Okay. All right, cool. Wait, why'd you move to Miami? 
fuck Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's really nothing there. It's like, not the real reason. I lo- <laughs> well, what, what is the real reason? She belongs I- to the street. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Better for me. Wait, well, um, <laughs> well, I mean, Pittsburgh was voted one of the best cities to raise a family. So, I mean, but I guess you're not in that phase in your life a, yet, right? Yeah, I don't have yeah. a family. Um, I graduated high school with 72 kids. So very small town, raised in a very small town. I just wanted to, you know, have a bigger city vibe in my life. What, what Western Pennsylvania? Western, correct. Okay. You, you, you Amish? Oh my! Could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not just kidding. Amish. Music I'm technology Amish. right now, so no. Exactly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Two questions, I'm real just quick. I'm yep. just kidding. Have you been invited to any yacht parties yet, or celebrity parties? Yes. There you go. And yes. Welcome to Miami. <laughs> Thank you. I feel very welcome. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. <laughs> My name is Lovely. I just turned 25. Mm-hmm. I am a model, an exotic dancer. I also have a podcast. Um, as far as education, I've done three years for psychology. And um, yeah, that's about it. Is that your government name, Lovely? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's just, just the, the name people know me by. Okay. okay. Yeah. And dating status? Dating status, um, single. Okay. I think we did. We brought a girl on that her actual government name was Lovely one time. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Somebody, somebody. They, there's actually a couple of people I know that I heard name was Lovely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Just, which is hilarious. And, and what's your um? What's your highest education level completed? Um, I have a degree in um psychology. Okay, yeah. psychology. Cool. And where do you do get, do that at? I did it at um Southern University. Okay. Southern Southern University that's in Louisiana. Okay. Louisiana. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. Southern. Yeah. Well, it, there's just so many, you know, there's Southern yeah, there's State LSU, University. Like, there's, there's no there's lot, Southern, yeah. you know, oh, yeah, there's a million Southern Southern Southern. University with Jaguars, you know. Okay. Yeah. Cool. HBCU. What all about right. you? Next. Um, all right. My name is Valeria. I'm currently a bartender. I went to school. Well, after high school, I did two years in uh, Miami Dade College for hospitality. Uh, what's next? I'm 27. Mm-hmm. Dating status? I'm single. <laughs> Is that it? And then, uh, did you, and you said you did two years in college? Two years. Yeah, two years. Associates, yeah. Okay, got you. Would you get, and your associates in what? I'm Hospitality. Sorry? Hospitality. Yeah, okay, Austin. cool. And you're a bartender, right? <laughs> yes, correct. What's your, what's your favorite drink to make? Uh, <laughs> I only drink Jameson, so if you ask oh, me, shit. I'd say Jameson and ginger ale. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Girls that drink Jameson. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> toxic. Um, I don't know. Fuck, nobody likes to make drinks. I like it to keep it simple. Like, don't was... ask me for a mojito, don't ask me for a margarita, I... don't ask me for frozen drinks. Damn. That shit's annoying. It's annoying. <laughs> well, you must hate your female <laughs> I like clients. I like it. I do what I gotta do. I do what I gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. Do I ever complain? <laughs> Cause I'm not no, gonna lie. I thought your favorite drink meat. was Spiltini. He <laughs> spilled <laughs> 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 Okay, never mind. That was not funny. Okay, moving on. Okay, so my name. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying, man. <laughs> my name is Rain. I'm 21. You make I'm... it rain? Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently attending FIU. I'm majoring in business administration and international business, and nice. I graduate in 2024. Um, I work and I work at a restaurant, and I'm currently working on a YouTube career. Nice. Uh, day status? I'm in a relationship. Cool. How long? About eight months. Eight About months? eight months. So are you F and F free? No. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. I feel like all niggas are Merch. fuck niggas, but not I mean, my nigga. My now, I mean, my nigga's not a fuck nigga, but he used to have fuck nigga tendencies. So can you explain some of these tendencies for the audience so that we can learn what? fuck nigga tendencies are <laughs> so i believe fuck nigga tendencies are all the tendencies fuck boys have so therefore which is <laughs> fucking no. multiple bitches and lying to them about fucking multiple bitches uh, mm. so if you were honest too. would that be okay if he told you hey yeah. i'm having sex with a bunch of chicks yeah okay that'd I'd be better be stop the cap okay <laughs> <laughs> so, i mean but it's like you can't really be mad at someone who's honest with you like it's better i know than i go and find out from so somebody else. but would you stay She's no. with him right now. Oh, no, no, but like say he's not a fuck nigga with me. He was a fuck nigga when I met him, but he's smart. I was doing shit too, so. So know? that means you're single then. No, I'm in a relationship, but when we met each other, it's we was both doing shit. 
No, I'm not in an open <laughs> relationship. I mean, that's what I thought. I no. feel like when you're dating, when you're dating, yeah. you can do yeah. what you want. When we yeah. were dating, we were both doing what we want, but right. now we're in a relationship. So okay. Like, you know we're monogamous. So, so what makes you think that he's uh, monogamous on his end? He's... I know he's monogamous. Ooh. Oh <laughs> man, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> is, is he? Is he? Uh, is he over six feet tall? No, surprisingly, and that's my type. Oh, okay. Is he? Uh... I actually settled for less. Oh, Whoa. 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 <laughs> settled? Oh, girl. I didn't settle, but you like, need a trophy. Uh, is he a student know, too? No, he's not. He's older than you. You're a victim. Yeah. He's out of school. Yeah. Does he, he make good money? Never went to school. Settled. Yeah. He, he makes good money. money. Okay. It, like over like 100k a year. I. I guess. Drugs? Wait. I'm not sure. He doesn't sell <laughs> no, What is he? I'm... Anyway. He's he's gonna... <laughs> no. I mean, you know, people grow from things and they move on to better things. So... And how old is he? He's 22. Hey, he's fucking bitches, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I love him. Yeah. He's not. Yo, really that bitches. is funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. And then, uh, Sleem, for the people that may not know who you are who the, live under a fucking rock, guess. can you introduce yourself to the people, please? A boner. I'm uh, Sleem the Dream, Milk Boys. Um, podcast as well um full send yeah so i make videos basically i mean honestly right now on my own channel it's like girls based i i love women women are amazing they are um there's a bad side and a good side to them but i mean for the most part they're amazing um yeah I make prank videos obviously on instagram uh youtube milk boy seven million subscribers so slim the dream about like six hundred thousand right now. I just started my channel. Obviously, you guys know Steve will do it. About four million subscribers. Uh, so yeah, I mean, YouTube, killing it, doing amazing. Instagram too. Instagram, yeah, got two two point one or two mil. I don't know what I have, but uh, two mil on Instagram. Uh, just doing a bunch of shit. Um, and we did a fire interview earlier on, guys. A one on one with uh, Celine. Yeah, we did Go a fire check it interview. Out. Yeah, I love Fresh and Fit. Fresh and Fit is amazing. We um, love you. Yeah, yeah. It's Pause. Bro. Amazing, yeah. The nigga, yo, he watched the show and be like, yo, you saw what that girl said, bro? This shit was hilarious. I was like, bro. <laughs> no, it's 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 really it's really comical, man. Like, it's actually <laughs> fucking hilarious. But, uh, yeah. yeah, other than that, make YouTube videos. Um, if you guys don't know, obviously, I'm not really in it. But uh, once I'm 21, I will be. Happy Dad, we own our own alcohol business. Um, actually killing the game, you know, Kyle, Steve, John, uh, Sammy, shout out to them. I'm not in it yet because obviously I'm underage. Right. Um, but, uh, we're killing it. Um, we have a bunch of ventures going on, full send podcast, full send recovery. Uh, we have our own supplements for our gym, uh, doing a, cl- a ton of cool shit. So you guys go check it out. And yeah, it's pretty Yo, much you know how you know, links are below. You know how I know Happy Dad made it? When I saw Happy Dad in a club. I was like, what's going on here? Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. No, it's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, like, it's just like, I, shout out to them. I mean, like, John, Sam, Kyle, Steve, once I'm 21, it's going to be fucking amazing what's what's going to happen. Um, But yeah, I mean, we're killing all seltzers. We're killing all alcohol brands. We killed, I can't say this, but I'm going to say it anyways. But, um, <laughs> uh, it's fresh and fit, baby. Say it. Yeah, Let's get it. Killing Travis Scott's brand, obviously. Like, we're fucking demolishing almost like white claw like we're we're doing a bunch of shit legendary and uh i think you know once i become the age to fucking drink i think that's when everything is going to be solidified and i think that it's billionaire i didn't even think that what what, i didn't even know that he had a what's it called astro drink or some shit like that was he had cacti oh okay yeah yeah so uh once the age has become i think you know it's billionaire status. Yeah, no, I'm of trying, course, bro. 100%. I'm, ready, I'm ready to become a because the alcohol it's industry is definitely something that uh, <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. Not at all. Nah, People need to escape from reality every day. Nah, but like, yeah, the whole team, full send, happy dad, they're killing it, and I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. So. Yeah, that's it's Liddy. Shout out to you, man. Yeah. Um, all right, so I'll read these chats real quick. Uh, and we got a video to react to. It's actually pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, we got Malachi Francis goes, she wants attention. Oh. Clout was a hell of... What? Oh, no, that was from yeah, way before. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, so... Chris, um, just, Chris just, just woke up, by the way. <laughs> Black Wolf Inc., I bet that blue-haired sideshow Bob is going to get Frank Castle tonight or is the most likely to get triggered. Sorry, miss, but fuck your feelings, baby. You have anything you want to say back to, blue, to Burning Wolf or Black Wolf Inc.? Sorry. Um, I don't know. I, I don't get triggered. I just... I just live my life, you know. Obviously, I could give two fucks about what anybody say. I'm wearing this hair, you know. <laughs> I, 
some shit. So. Okay. Shout All right. So, so in other words, go suck a dick is what she's saying. Uh, to Selena <laughs> the Dream, if the black Angelica Pickles tries to use her raptor claws on you, proceed to use Big Mo as human shield and run for your life. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which one is that? Uh, <laughs> black who? Uh, I think they're talking about her. Uh -huh. um, he's on your head top. Yeah, he's, 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 he's talking shit. All right, Inspire. No cap. They all for the streets, but question. How long should a guy last in bed? That's actually a good one. All right, go ahead, Fresh. Real quick. Yeah. In your opinion, how long should a guy last in the bedroom? Until I nut. Mm. Okay, that's fucked. How long is that? That's, that's fucked. No normally. It depends on what the guy does. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what does your man do? Okay, give me a ballpark I'm figure. Not... Uh, TMI, Chris. Give me, give me like a ballpark figure. So like... 20, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour? So foreplay, I feel like foreplay isn't included in sex. Like it shouldn't be included in the time for a guy. So foreplay comes first. And that like, foreplay, foreplay comes first. And that like helps me get closer to climaxing. And mm -hmm. then depending on what he does during sex, dur between clitoral stimu stimulation or penetration, like it's all of that. It depends on what he's doing and how I'm feeling. Oh, you're an expert, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's funny. What about you? How long should it last? Uh, I'm going to say like a good 45 to an hour. Okay. What yeah. if it lasted like two hours? Would that be too much? That's okay. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, you could always go longer. I just feel like March. at least to get the, <laughs> <laughs> at least to get the job done. Okay. You know, 45 to an hour. What about you? Well, I'm a very sexual person. I, I aim I, to I cannot tell. I aim to please, you know, I, you know, action speaks for itself. Um, usually they don't last very long the first time. I just, I usually wait till the second round because, you know, I'm not a person that just, I'm not a fucking pillow princess. I don't just sit there or lay there. I like to do a lot. You know, I'm mm. the one I, I love doing that, you know, like okay. to know my partner and everything like it depends on what, how long it lasts. I don't. You know, I don't fucking mind. As long as we do a second round, you know. Gotta, get, <laughs> gotta, come gotta go a second round. Yeah. If not, you you're done. Go. What about you? I'm going to go off of that. Second round has to happen. Yeah. Like, I don't know about you guys. You must have incredible stamina. But 45 minutes, <sighs> I'm just old, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I'm good with, like, 15 to 20, honestly. As yeah. long as there's a round two, yeah. Like, 45 minutes sounds kind of painful sometimes, depending on what's going on and what's to be expected and all that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a wimp and I'm not on their level. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but I'm, I'm two rounds and like 15 to 20 per round satisfactory for me. So you like in and out. Gotcha. Mm, yeah, that's kind of pushing it, but in and out, sure. Okay. <laughs> you do as many as you want. Well, me, I'm just speaking within my relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to go that long, but usually my man likes to go until I come first and then it's him after, so... So, once you come first? Yeah, basically. What if you don't come? I usually do, so. <laughs> okay. Why are you pushing so much? You that's my man. red as hell. God it's damn. Blush. Yeah, it's blush. It's blush, babe. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chill. With me, I just feel like I got to nut a couple of times. Because us females, we nut back to back. Like, we could nut. That's the thing. I'm like, I can keep going. I, I can't remember the last time I had sex with somebody and we had two rounds. Like, I'm just honestly speaking. So, with me, it's like I just got nut like a good three, four practice. times, and then you could, you could just <laughs> do it after. Me? Yeah. I just get wow. off. Yeah. I but just... I ain't gonna lie. It was one nigga, like, he had long ass sex. I hate that shit. <laughs> Fuck niggas. Like, goddamn, like, every time you about to nut, he like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then you gotta wait. And I don't got time for that. Yeah, be okay. I don't like that. Real, real quick. <laughs> Have you ever met a guy that can bust and not keep going? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No. Yes. Like back to back, back type to back. going. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I actually do this thing, right, where um I ask them that have that has that ever happened to you before? Mm -hmm. And then they say no and I highly doubt that I can do it. But I show them that, you know, they can. I unlock <laughs> I unlock another she uh, another that door. room. <laughs> she <laughs> brings she open that door. Salim. <laughs> How long can you go for? <laughs> Realistically. Pause. Uh, to be really honest, <laughs> this, this, this for the girls, nigga, not for me. <laughs> to be really honest, I really like sex. I mean, it's fucking amazing. So, 
He's also uh, under 21. So uh, they jackrabbits right now. <laughs> <laughs> jackrabbits. <laughs> I mean, y'all fuck like jackrabbits, you know? Yeah, you know I fuck like an animal. You know? I mean, like, yeah. why not? Don't like, know what well, you're doing right now, but, you know, you, you learn. Don't know what I'm doing. I don't know fuck. That's all you know, because you don't know how to fuck right now. Let, let him answer <laughs> the question, please. And then... Um, I'm going to answer your question. The oldest I fucked was, like, a 37-year-old, so, like... MILF! Um... I've I fucked a lot of chicks, so like, to be really honest, I mean, what was your question again? Sorry. How long do you think <laughs> you last normally? I've went four rounds before, like okay. three or four, honestly. Um, okay. I just like to have sex. I mean, it's it's a very fun thing to do. It's very athletic. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> you think about it. Um, Calories burned. I mean, get your core right. I mean, it's lit. <laughs> there you right? go. Like so, okay. pretty much it. I mean, all right, love it. Right, I'm gonna ask the tough questions. Uh, Go so, Go ahead. whose nut is actually more relevant, the woman's or the man's? And we're gonna start with uh, with you over here with fuck nigga. Yeah, we're gonna make this show even better. So, uh, whose nut is more relevant, yours or his? Mine's. Okay. I say mine. Okay. We got a nut first. Okay. His. Okay. Now, can you tell me why? And and real quick, and I'm gonna circle it back to why y'all think yours is more important. But what, tell me why his is more important over yours. Just being honest, like, his takes me to the next level. Like, I like seeing that. I like hearing that. Mm -hmm. It just... So you're a pleaser? Yeah. I mean, I would say I'm, like, a pleaser. You know, it's, like, a reciprocal thing. Like, that's how sex should be, you know? But, like, there's something about, like, a man, like, being turned on and, you know, like, reaching orgasm before I do that's, like, really hot to me. Okay. That's fucking awesome. Now, question for you two. Why is yours more... Well, you know what? Let's go around the entire table. Then we'll have each explain. Who's uh, who's not as more relevant, yours or his? Both. Uh, well, you got to pick one. Which one, if you had to pick one? You got to pick one. I have to pick one? Yes, yeah, yeah, pick one. one. The male or the females? Uh, yours death. or his? I mean, the males, is they're going to nut. Like, so, you know, as far as important. Them. Yeah, the importance. His. Okay. Yours? I'm going to say the guys only because... I'll, I'll let you explain in a second. You think the guys as well. And what about you? I mean, my nut is very important, but I think his is more. Okay, so we're going to circle it back. Why do you think... Well, actually, let's go with the girls that said theirs first. Why is yours more important? Because if you nut before me, mm -hmm. that's crazy. <laughs> like, that shit just crazy. But if I nut first, that shit turn me the fuck on, and then okay. I'm going to get lit for you. Okay. So you going to nut too. But okay. I'm just saying, how you going to nut before me? <laughs> Okay, so yours is more. So you, and, you so, like I said before, like most of the time, I don't get two. Like niggas don't give me two rounds. I okay. get one round. Okay. So if you nut and I ain't nut, like what the fuck? Okay. Like what the fuck? I just wasted my time. I just wasted. So a you don't want to IOU. You. You're like I no. need it now. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Why? Why is your uh, ejaculation or climax more important than his? I think because it's a little more difficult for yeah. a man to get a woman there. And okay. a man is always going to come in the end. That's okay. just how I feel. Okay. So a man is going to nut regardless. Okay. <laughs> if he nuts before me, then it's over. Okay. He's going to be too tired to keep going. I'm okay. So, so <laughs> yours is just simply because he's going to come regardless. So mine is more important. I guess so. I mean, okay. once he comes, it's that's the end. So. Okay. So since it's the end, it's his. yours is more important. Yeah. Because it's inevitable and, it's gonna, and it ends after that. I don't know. Who are you smashing? <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to add to that? Not really. I just want to make sure I had it right. Okay, and then can you two guys tell me why you think the guys is more important? We'll start with uh, we'll start with you. Me? Yeah. Why is okay, the guys more, not so, more important? So piggybacking off of what she said, you know, the guy is gonna nut, you know, that's, you know, but I love I love you know giving them that nut, you know, but mm -hmm. me, um, if I don't, I'll just you know wait till he's asleep and get my vibrator out. It's no big deal if I don't <laughs> fucking nut, you know. Nah. Okay. Hell no. Nah. I enough. just like to. I aim to please. I just love the, the. I just love the act of sex. That's Fair it. enough. What about you? Why is the guy more important? Um. You said a little bit reluctantly, but. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It is, it is important. Um, like she said, I mean, it, it's gonna happen. That's already said. Uh huh. But um, for me, it's more the fact that, I like getting it there. Okay. That brings me a lot of joy. Like for me, um, right. you know, the build up brings me joy. Like it definitely gets me close. And any guy that I'm fucking knows after I make him nut, he has to make me nut. Mm -hmm. So that's like a given. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. it just like it's a kind of a two for two. A give and take. A give and take. Okay. There you go. And then what about you? 
I feel like I've had so much sex where like I've never climaxed. So then like I became used to like getting pleasure out of making a guy climax. Like it's more of, it gives me a confidence boost, you know? Like, okay, I did that for my man. I made him do that, you know? Mm. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll give my take on it real quick and then I'll turn it to the guys. This might be a little controversial, but I'm going to say it anyway. What I'm about to say does not necessarily reflect <laughs> the other right. members on the panel. Um, your climax is irrelevant, ladies. And the reason why is because... Um, <laughs> Misogyny. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the reason why is because only one climax is needed to create life, which is the whole purpose of why sex is there in the first place, right? And then second, um, I'll be honest, right? If a guy does want to please you, that's cool. That's extracurricular activities. But he doesn't necessarily have to. And the reason why I say this... Hear me out. I know y'all are probably offended right now. The reason why is because men have to bring way more to the table to get sex than women do. For example, by the time you actually have sex with that guy, he's already met a list of prerequisites to some degree. Whether he was extremely physically attractive, he makes money, he has status, he's successful. He had to meet some kind of standard to even get in this position to have sex with you. You, however, have not. Because men are way easier to please than women are. Hot? Available? Let's do it. Him, on the other hand, got to be tall, got to make money, got to do some shit, speak right, whatever it may be. So I look at it as even if the guy sucks at sex, you're still going to get some kind of other benefit from dealing with him because you picked him in the first place. Maybe he has money. Maybe he has status. Maybe he fucking uh, is a good smooth talker. Makes he, Maybe he makes you feel good in a certain way. And I would argue that these things, these auxiliary things, a lot of the times help you come in the first place because girls fall in love with their head. All right. You guys are not visual creatures like we are. We could j jack off. We could bang a chicken, you know, jack get off to like just a visual thing of it. But with you guys, you guys need the mental stimulation, too. Mm -hmm. So my argument is simply that if a guy does please you, it's good. Fantastic. He should he should aim to do that. But it's not necessarily required because men have to, you know, do other things to even get to the point of having sex. So that's why I say his nut is more required because you only have one job as a woman, bro. Fucking just make a sandwich and get the guy off. Like, really, men are very simple. <laughs> oh. So, um, <laughs> anyway, I'll turn it back to the ladies. I can see that you were disagreeing quite a bit, or unless you guys have something you want to add on. Or, <laughs> Salim, go ahead. Careful. Up to that? Yeah, what do you think about that? Or do you want to turn it to ladies? Up to you. Um, <laughs> in my opinion, you know, making a girl nut is low key kind of fire because you kind of have an indication in your head that, like, She's going to want you all the time. But at the same time, <laughs> niggas get tired. I mean, like, you know I mean? like yeah, I, I mean, I, you know, sometimes I do get tired, but I mean, like, if I'm really into the chick, I'll go like two or three rounds. I mean, it, it depends. You know what I mean? I, I don't you think say there's... What's that? Oh. <laughs> honey packs like Kevo. <laughs> Shut up, man, man, Kevo, man. Oh, man. <laughs> honey Calling packs. a girl honey? No, no. So there's honey packs you could take. Yeah. Kind of like gets you like... No, I mean, no, no, I don't take any of that. But like, um, I mean, <clears throat> what Myron is saying from like, you know, the only life that's created, I kind of have to agree with him on that. Yeah. But at the same time, when it comes to like an ego thing for a guy, I mean, like, it's like, I mean, you would want a girl to nut, but at the same time, if she's just a chick that you just want to fuck, who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Like, just get your nut off and go to bed. But like... Yeah, I get what he's saying. All right, I'm going to keep it all the way 1,000, right? <clears throat> My niggas in the chat know. Real niggas know. If you were the chick, right, bro? You can't make a nut? Bro, someone else will. So you better make a nut. However, I will say for me personally, I enjoy it because, one, if I do it one time, two times, three times, four times, five times, you know what it is? It's like, I know her body now. I mastered it. And guess where she's going to go when she wants sex? Back to me. So, I enjoy, No, so, I, same thing so, with your saying. So yeah. to me, if I could please her, I'm gonna get pleased regardless. So mm -hmm. it's what it is. My no, thing is simply, no. all I'm saying is that the man chooses if he wants to do it. Like my, my thing is like, if you don't like the girl, then fuck it. Like don't don't. Why the hell does she got a nut? You've already met a bunch of prerequisites for for you to even be in this position as a guy. Like men have to become, women just are. You have to become to come as a guy. So it's like what the hell? Because I've already met a bunch of requirements. No, so yeah. I look at it like. If you like the girl, do it. I'm not saying don't do it, guys. I'm not saying because a lot of you guys misconstrue it. I said, oh, I'm not saying don't let, girl, don't let girls fucking uh, climax. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying, like, don't go out of your way if you don't like the chick. So, uh, yeah, like toys and shit. Like, run, run yeah, the toys. Fuck yeah, fuck out of here, bro. Yeah. Like, man, it's not your fault that she needs a fucking drill on her vagina to get off. What the fuck? <laughs> like, the hell? Yeah, anyway. Uh, Go ahead, I'll turn it you're over to so, the ladies. You're selfish as fuck. <laughs> like, he is so selfish. Like, this is okay, sex, fair. right? So listen, us females, we could nut multiple times, right? If a nigga mm -hmm. make us nut one time, we gonna be good, right? Mm -hmm. Majority of the time, niggas, when they nut, it take y'all time to come back up. Mm -hmm. We get aggravated. 
Mm-hmm. So if I don't nut and you nut, I'm gonna get aggravated. Okay. Why, why the fuck would you want to aggravate me? Because then I'm gonna start cussing your ass out. Like, what the fuck? I came over here for this. <laughs> for this. And I would never want to fuck you again. Question Thank for you. Thank God. Um, what 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 standards <laughs> do you have? What 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 standards does a guy have to reach to to get you? Like, what you mean what's standards? Bare, okay, what's the bare minimum height? I feel like it's the Merch. vibe, though. I'm not even gonna lie. Keep it a I, won't, I won't date somebody that's making less money than me. Okay. Okay. okay? But, but, but what is I'm the minimum not... height for you? Let's height. just keep it static. What's the minimum height? I ain't gonna height? lie. I've been dating people my height, and I don't want to date that no more. They okay. have to be so like five nine. Five like, nine. Please be five nine. I need to. I'm five five. Okay. I need to start climbing. What's the bare minimum income? They I'm starting make? looking down. What's the bare minimum income? Bro, you gotta make more money than me. Okay, which is give me a number. Bro, I don't know how much money. Yo, I make two, like <laughs> I make a good amount of money monthly. You feel me? Okay. Like, it, so it, it, what does bro. he have to make monthly? For you you. got to make like a good bare minimum. 30, 40. 30, 40 K a month? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, and then, uh, so he's got to be at least five foot nine and make 30, 40 K per month, which that equates to, uh, damn, That's what, like what is that? 400 K? That's no, like no. 400 K. 480 K? Yeah, 480 K. But damn near half a million dollars. Okay. Uh, you do realize that this individual you described is in the top 1%, correct? <laughs> That's why I ain't easily accessible. Well, yeah. well, that's Four, well. Here's the thing. There's some way, here's a point though. <laughs> yeah, it's four hundred eighty thousand. Okay, so this guy, because four hundred thousand puts you in the top one percent of earners in the United States. Period. Mm-hmm. So you do realize that there's way less of him than there is of you, right? Mm-hmm. So therefore, you don't really dictate the terms. If he just wants to nut, that's what it is because you're not necessarily going to find him. Because here's the other thing too. You know why I asked you those questions, right? Hmm. He had to meet certain re- prerequisites to even fuck you in the first place. And these prerequisites are pretty hard. So you're actually the one that's selfish because I that guy selfish. is hard to come by. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, it's difficult when I say it back to you, isn't it? But listen, though. Because, no. hold, on, hold on, let me finish. That guy busted his ass to make that kind of money, and he's successful. I bust my ass too. What the fuck? But here's the problem, though. The men, floor. men don't care. This is going to sound terrible, but I'm going to say it. Men don't necessarily care about how much money a woman makes. It's not like we look at it like, ah, I ain't fucking with you, baby. You only make 100 k per year. No dude's ever going to say that, ever. So my thing is that he has to become successful to get girls. You don't. So you're actually selfish for wanting a 1% guy and thinking that he's obligated to make you nut when in reality he can go get any other girl he wants with that well, kind of money. Well, then he better go over there. <laughs> okay. Because oh. my nut comes first. <laughs> oh, okay. selfish. Once he nut, no, it's not selfish because once a nigga nut is be hard, nine times, like I said, I haven't dealt with a nigga that came two rounds. It'll be one round, they ass go to sleep or some shit. You feel me? You haven't so, met me. Busy working. <laughs> so anyways, huh. He's like, busy making that 480K that you want. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, shit, he better get it though. together. Yeah. All, all I'm simply saying is that, do you see where I'm coming from here, though? I do, but I don't. Beauty is common, high value men are not. So you don't really dictate the terms when it comes to sex. And if anything, I would argue you're more selfish for wanting a guy in the top 1%. Than him wanting to know first. I guess I'm selfish, then fuck it. Okay, fair enough. So, uh, so, anybody else somebody in the BBC gang, send her a DM, change her life, because <laughs> she don't know what's going on right now, brother. <laughs> so, uh, does anyone else have anything on what I said as far as like the woman's ejaculation is irrelevant? So okay, um, as far <laughs> as just you know, we're talking about just fucking. We're not just talking about. We're only talking about fucking. We're not talking about relationships, you know. Mm-hmm. Like just like I don't know, I might be a little bit different, but. If I see somebody, a man that's attractive as fuck, I'm going to want to fuck them. I don't give a damn what they make or none of that. You know, I see something that I like. We're going to have a conversation. If you have a head on your shoulders, that's that's what's going to, you know, attract me to you and to automatically wanting to, you know, wanting to have sex or whatever. Long term? No, I'm not. I'm not alone. No. Okay. No. So you're, you're more like in the moment. You know in what? Moment, He's what yeah. I want. I'm just going to go for it. Okay. Yeah, yeah but, but here's the thing. For, for most men... Are not attractive by female standards. Let me let me let me guess. He's pro- a guy that you would find attractive in shape, probably tall to a degree. He has like these. I don't give a damn about height. Um, Got to be in shape. You just have to look cute. You just have to look. You just have to look good. I don't give a damn about okay. height or none of that shit. No. Okay. You might be different, but well, mo- well, most girls yeah. want something on. For example, they may want I lifestyle, <laughs> maybe height, maybe looks. So. Something has to be going for that guy at least. And, and here's the other thing too. What, we've come to find this out from like dating apps in general. Female standards of good looking typically tends to be guys in the top two percent. When yeah. they say good looking, yeah, you know what I mean. Like a guy that has abs, a guy that's tall, a guy that has nice teeth, whatever. Most men don't match these requirements a lot of the times, unfortunately. That's why uh, they did a study on OK Cupid. They found that like women found like ninety percent of the guys is unattractive or below average. 
versus like the guys found more than a majority of the girls as attractive enough. Yeah, uh, I, I will also just add sure as, as well. So it's 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 hard. It's easy for you to be taller than me. Like I don't give. Sh- and then some girls <laughs> take a, a step further. I'm five two. Like, Either tattoos yeah. or dreads too is another thing too. Hmm? Like some girls like you know what you have dreads. I'm going for it. Tattoos I'm going for it. So it just depends. What about personality? Like, that's a fantastic point. But let's let's keep it a thousand with it, though. It doesn't matter how good his personality is if he doesn't meet a um, look metric first. You're not even gonna give him the time of day unless he meets. Does is he at least cute enough to talk to? Right, and I I respect that and I agree with that. But at the same time, you might have two contenders, right? And one is like a ten, and one is like a seven. Okay. And the ten has a personality of a fucking asshole mm-hmm. like whatever that may be in your own mind we all have different opinions of fucking asshole yeah and the seven is a very respectable man respectful of you you know has his act together maybe 30 40 pounds heavier than the 10 and maybe two three inches shorter but me personally like i'm going to go with the seven really absolutely yeah. the reality is you're going to make the seven wait longer for sex and you're going to fuck the asshole first that's what's going to really happen gotcha, bitch. The yeah. asshole's gonna get the sex way quicker. You're gonna make the other guy wait for it, and then you're gonna maybe try to do something long term with him because he's a better candidate for a long term relationship because he true. treats you well. But that's the asshole always gets the box first with doing less work. Right, stereotypically speaking, correct. But that is very true. Yep. I don't Damn, know. I just true. so do you, do you you do see how that's kind of, like for you that's a W as a woman, but as a man that's an L because now I have to sit there and put in more work for something that someone that quite frankly is a bigger asshole than me got for free. Fuck boys. Right. This is why I, nice guys finish last and they get mad. I feel like it depends Merch. on the girl too though like I really I truly do because there are I believe that there's a lot of respectful men and women in this world like I'm not one of these girls that thinks all guys are assholes so I want to come on the show to like speak my mind mm-hmm. I grew up around a lot of guys I was the only girl in my family most of the time with all my with all my cousins my brother my dad like I respect men I truly do and they deserve our respect like when it's given you know what I mean like until they give you a reason not to I think that we should put kind of like a like a level playing field and say you know whatever happens happens like but you do realize that someone like you is a minority right most women don't have a father figure in their life anymore i do realize like, that like, and like, i'm yeah. very very thankful for that and yeah. i would never take that for granted one day in my life i love my dad he's a great guy all right someone spoke with their publicist before the show yep. fantastic did anyone else um have anything to say as far as like a uh, woman's nut is irrelevant i have something to say oh uh, sure please so I don't know, but from like perspective, I don't yeah. know what type of woman you're normally around, but I see a lot of girls, like beautiful girls with butt ugly men. Okay. So I don't think that girls look at, oh, like he has to be attractive for me to want to sleep with him. They're you know not. what they're going to say, right? Money. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, but I see girls <laughs> with like, <laughs> I see a lot of pretty girls with fuck niggas who don't have no money. It's about well, personality. But but you're missing the point here. See see how like on both spectrums, the man is accomplishing <laughs> something to some degree, whether he's extremely good looking but has no money, or he has a lot of money but he's ugly. But regardless, the man has to f- pass some kind of filter. He got good dick. Before <laughs> he can even get the access to the woman. That's not a woman's fault that men only think with their dicks and only look at attractive women. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I'm not, not in my opinion. Here's the thing. That's you're 100 percent right. But I don't make the rules. I just report them. Men have very low standards when it comes to who I'm gonna have sex with. Women, like, you guys, have all of you guys met a celebrity at some point in your life? Yeah. yeah. Okay, have all of you guys been invited to exclusive parties, whatever it may be? Sure. Yeah. Okay, have all of you guys been in a VIP, maybe at a club, would just be getting invited? Yeah. Hell, if you guys opened up your Instagrams right now, you probably have a bunch of DMs from people, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. well, congratulations. That's what it's like to be a woman. You simply just get this for existing. <laughs> for us, though, we have to work to get that. Mm-hmm. Guys so, get that too, though. No, they don't. No, they don't. Not to the I same level my brother, whatsoever. Um, my brother's IGs before, and they'd be crazy. Okay, but here's the thing men only get that once they achieve something. That's the difference. Like, you get it simply for existing as a woman. As a man, you're not going to get that unless you're somebody. But with that, we get like. Men, like weirdos we get men trying to rape us men trying to drug us like it's all right, Twitch. It's, it's what did i tell you Whoa. no of course yeah you're gonna no here's here's the thing. Right, i'm Twitch. not saying that you're not gonna get weirdos and shit on youtube but a positive is it of it is that you get a bunch of opportunities that no a man would never be able to get like yeah of course you got to filter out the weirdos and shit that happens that's what comes with the territory of it of free attention but you still get opportunities that a guy that is your age would never get does that make sense? Yeah. So so men have to become before they can even get sexual access. Women don't. But so do what? Yes, we do. If I came in here with my hair looking crazy, like how men be doing, like a terrible outfit, if I had on some really Walmart clothes, change, like yeah. all you would still that. get attention from Niggas men. Would still yeah. smash. You might not yeah. get as much, but you still. That's not my fault that, think, that men think with their dicks. Like, 
in my opinion. Like, it's not, it's not it's about... It's because w- men see women be like, oh my God, like, yeah. I wonder what she has under her clothes. Yeah. Da, 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 da. But here's the problem. We're women talking about... Women don't think like that. But here's the thing. I'm we, talking about what is. You're talking about what should be. Yeah. I'm saying what is. Men don't care. So therefore, our prerequisites are low. You guys do care. You have a lot of standards. Since you have a lot of standards, if the guy doesn't fulfill you sexually... There's other ways he can make up for that. Yeah, you're right, but that is. But if a woman doesn't fulfill you sexually, hold on, hold on. But if a woman doesn't fulfill you sexually as a man, she basically failed her only job. I know a lot of men who are with women who don't fulfill them sexually. I don't think so. Really? I feel like every like your perspective may be different from mine. Like you've experienced different things. You have more knowledge on different things than I do. You know? I mean, men don't ask for much from women. They do though. Really? Compared to what women want from men? She means she means like bumps. Because only bums would take, would take shit like that. We live in a society where it's like, it's become that women, uh, like a lot of women have become like their own boss. Like women do a lot for themselves. But before that, it used to be men pay the bills and they do this, they work hard and they do like a lot of things. And women stayed home, they took care of children, they cooked and cleaned and that's all that mattered. I'm pretty sure that a lot of men don't really care if their women are fulfilling them sex- sexually or not because they're going to go out and find other women to fulfill them sexually. So uh, women, that's the apex fallacy. Most men cannot replace their girl. They can't. No, they can't. But they can sexually. I'm talking about no, sex. nah, like, like I, see, nah. th- this is another thing uh, women make a very big mistake on. Most guys don't have the same amount of abundance of options that you do at all, at all. How old are you? Twenty-one. Okay, if I took a twenty-one-year-old guy, an average twenty-one-year-old guy, and I took an average twenty-one-year-old girl, that average twenty-one-year-old girl is gonna by far have way more sexual experience and/or experience with the opposite gender than that twenty-one-year-old guy. It's common to have 21-year-old men that are virgins, but you ain't going to find that on the female side we, at all. We have a virgin yep. on the couch. Well, it used to be a virgin. Mm. used to be a virgin. Yeah. Yeah, tell, him, tell him, bro, about your experience. Well, also, I looked a lot different. I was uh, Speaking to the mic. My bad. Uh, I was like probably 40, 50 pounds heavier, but yeah, I was 22, nothing, hadn't had a first kiss or anything, so... Yeah, it's girl, tough out here. We had to teach girls, that guy a lot, man. Yeah. Oh, we, we had to drop probably like no, half a mil to get me laid. So. It's fucking <laughs> damn. <man. laughs> this dude needed yeah. a million yeah. likes. It was like that's 80. Not, was it worth it? $180,000. Oh, man. best yeah. 30 seconds of my life. Bro, we spent 100. <laughs> we, we spent 100. I've been mad as fuck. 30 100, seconds. We spent, we spent 180 grand on this guy. Posted him on our feed post. He got a million likes on our fucking Instagram. Wow. Bro, it's And that took him to fuck. One chick. <laughs> and, and here's the thing. Women really don't get it, like, how difficult it is for guys to get laid. I mean, right now, we got almost 10,000 live viewers. There's YouTube channels all over the place teaching guys how to get girls. There's no YouTube channels out there teaching women how to get guys. If anything, maybe teach you how to get a rich guy to commit to you, but not as far as, like, sexually attracting. Y'all just exist and get attention. We actually have to become somebody to get that same type of attention. You take a guy that's at the top tier, top 2 3% of men, he's not going to get as much attention as an average-ass chick. And actually, we've, we've shown this on a... Uh, a chart that even the top two percent of men don't even get as much attention as a girl that's average. I believe and that, the but show that's it. men. That's because of men. That's because of the way men look at women. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just talking about what is it versus what. Th- this is all. Remember, let's bring it back to the original argument. The original argument is that a woman's nut is not as relevant as a man's, and the reason why is because the man has to bring way more to the table to get the sexual access than the woman does. The woman is be pretty and available. Okay, cool. I'm down. The man. Be tall enough, make enough money, in your case, 480k per year, whatever it is on your prerequisites, right? That guy has to achieve something to be even to be able to be put in that position. So my argument simply is, if he doesn't satisfy you sexually, he can make up for it in other ways. If you don't satisfy him sexually, there's not much you can make up for it. See the but, logic here? Yeah, but I still, that doesn't make a woman's not relevant. And my because chart. If a, it makes if it less a man important. doesn't make a woman, like, if you're not doing anything to arouse a woman, like, that's bad sex for you. Tell me I'm lying. They're gonna, you're gonna complain that their 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 coochie is dry, <laughs> it's loose, that or it's too tight, it, it won't fit. It's because you're not doing anything to arouse the woman to make her comfortable. Here's the difference: arousal for a woman occurs outside the bedroom most of the time, not inside. Okay, sexual arousal yeah. matters when it comes to sexual arousal. No, it's a lot of the things you do just outside the bedroom. Just because a man nah. is rich, just because my man takes care of me, doesn't mean he's gonna make me wet when yeah. we're trying to have sex. I didn't say rich. I'm saying other things that he does. So Putting you in your place, things, being attractive, taking care of himself, going to the gym, being on his mission, etc. All these outside factors, a lot of the times, is what turns the girl on in the first place where she wants to have sex with him. Yeah, Women but fall in love with their head. It might turn us on outside of the bedroom, but what turns us on in the bedroom also matters too. You got to do both. Not really. But anyway, um, to go, <laughs> go back to the... Here, I'll show you all this chart real quick just to illustrate what I'm saying so you guys know I'm not cap. This is uh, number of messages received versus recipient's attractiveness. As you guys can see, the light blue here 
is the male recipients and the dark blue is the female recipients. And the graph shows the amount of messages sent. So you look at the, you know, the men's side, right, on the light blue, the most attractive guys barely compete with average looking women when it comes to messages received. I'm not going to lie. I don't date attractive, attractive guys. Like, you got to be some type of ugly. <laughs> okay, but well, she's got to make money, fresh. though. Like, we got to compliment each other. You can't be too damn cute. Like, Here's the thing. I'm already, but, but you, but here's the thing. What he lacks in looks, he's got to make up for an income. The man you described making 30, 40K per month is in the top, less than 1% of top men. See how the math doesn't add up? Y'all have zero leverage when you go up the scale in man. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. That's why your nut isn't relevant. Get a more average nigga if you want your nut. That's it. My yep. thing, my, my no? thing is. No, I ain't got nothing to say. In okay. 2022, as a guy, you got be you got be excellent in every area, bro. Yeah. Inside and like outside, it. because if, if you don't do it, go. someone else will. That's yeah. all I'm saying. All right. So, um, any more chats? That was a funny little conversation there. <laughs> Guys, like the fucking video, by the way. Um, Chris, can you read these real quick? Frank Castle in the flesh. Ten bucks says, ladies. Rate yourself on a scale from one to ten before using the number seven. <laughs> and we'll start right here. I think I'm like a, a eight. Eight? Okay, yeah, smooth eight. Number seven. All right. What about you? One out of ten. I'm. I mean, if I can't use the number seven, I'm gonna say six. <laughs> six. Wow. I know I ain't that hot. Fuck that. Okay. <laughs> what's What's your background? Uh, I'm from Costa Rica originally. Penis okay. place. Cool. Pura vida. Thank you, sir. Me. Mm -hmm. Over 9,000. Over 9,000! Hey, I like it. It's over 9,000! Okay. <laughs> What's the scout what around? 8.2. 8.2. Why 8.2? Why not? I didn't want to do 8.5, I didn't want to do 8, so I kind of just settled in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Uh, nice. I'm a 10. Oh. Go figure. I want to know why none of y'all said a 10. I said over 9,000. Oh, you did say over 9,000. Like, why not? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm a team. I don't care. Who said go figure? I said go figure. Rate yourself. <laughs> right now? Yeah. That, that right, now. That right now. When? Tomorrow? You want right mine? Right now. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Yeah. Rate yourself. What's, what's, come on. Honestly, for me, I said I'm like a six. Oh, yeah, go figure. Jack I was going to say six. <laughs> six is a little below average. I feel average. like I'm a confidence really like, like only a little below average. Well, I, just, I make I it for it in different ways. I can't speak for nobody but myself. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I make like, it for it in different ways, yeah. if you know what I mean. Tens, <laughs> like, so what, what would make you a 10? I don't know. For me, 10 right now, like, it's overrated. What are the like, many different ways? Like, because because wait, so what am I going to tell please? I'm me, bro. Like, I don't know. So, I don't. Feel like I'm gonna be I'm honest, right? Like, I just don't feel like I'm on a scale. Like, that's my What mark. the fuck is a scale one to ten? Like, no, but you still rated yourself, though. You still Correct. rated yourself. Yeah, but I'm like, but why not a ten? I don't know, because I'm not perfect. Ooh. I got imperfections. Ooh. I'm not wait, 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 but, but understand you know that nobody's perfect, though. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Absolutely. Hold on. So why ten? So why you, you rate yourself a ten? I'm not perfect, but I have self confidence. But you said ten, though. Yeah, yes. a ten, though. Yes, does, does I still feel like I'm perfect? a ten. Yes, it does. does it, it, it doesn't does mean perfect. perfect. It ten says perfect, worse. Though. To me, when you say a scale from one to ten, to rate yourself. Yeah, the scale. You're scaling yourself. My confidence is at a ten. I feel like I look good. March. You know, when but I see, wake up in the morning, you know, like I can say six and no. That's your opinion. No, no, no. I'm confident because I know who I'm. And what I'm about. Mm -hmm. So me saying six doesn't mean that I'm not confident. It just means right. that you know what I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at on social scale. Yeah, there mm -hmm. we go. that's it. So I'm like, if we talk in social, because this is what this is. And you, social you'd be surprised. Social me scale. being a six with personality, game, maybe a little lifestyle. That part. I go really far because mm. I, I know where I'm at. <laughs> you on the other hand, are delusional because the ten it means you're perfect, which means you need. Nobody is perfect though. You just I said like, you're perfect though. No, I never said no I was sense. perfect. No. You just said you're a ten. She said she's confident. I'm like confident. I mean, listen. To cut that the means nails, nobody can the make like, the lashes, problem, right? the somebody, hair. When girls, yeah. when girls say ten, that means you have nothing to work on. That means that you yourself say, so you know what? Listen, I truly could walk around with mm -hmm. no wig, no Stop lashes, but then do no it. nothing. <laughs> get online, do it. but because I'm an artist. It's Stop like, you know, cow. people look at you and, you know, like you oh, sell lifestyle too. Gotcha. But I could, yeah, I could definitely, I do that. I get on live flawless. Like, come on, I don't have no makeup on. You, <laughs> you know? gotta be what, realistic. What, you right now? <laughs> you gotta be realistic. Talking about, like, Not when for she real. gets on live. I said, when I, go, when I get on live, like, I don't really wear blonde hair. Like, sometimes I wear a bonnet. I be at home with a bonnet on live. Okay. So, are you a 10? Oh. I'm still a 10. I don't care. Okay. Like, okay. my right. self-confidence right. went there. You feel me? That's I don't I don't know if you guys know what just occurred just now. The audience, uh, do you guys just know what just happened just now? Audience? Uh, guys in the chats are going to... are gonna uh, Tell me if you guys saw what just happened just now during this conversation. What happened? Fresh. He wouldn't go put hit his the, hat hit, the, hit the new comments on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm self-conscious about my hair. That's why. Uh, 
All right. Did, did any y'all? Uh, let me see. I'm looking at chat. See if any of you guys caught just what the fuck happened just there. What the fuck happened? We saw that's crazy. We saw. Okay, nah, y'all didn't catch it. All right, so. You triggered my trap card. I wanted that conversation to write out because what I've realized. We do this question all the time. Hey, mm -hmm. what do you rate yourselves? And a lot of girls rate themselves either 10, 11, 21. I don't fucking know. 100 or 9,000 in this case. Um, and what I've come to realize over. from asking women this question is women historically from being on the show, well, over 1,000 now that we've asked, uh, overrate themselves. Or they, t they say that they're damn near perfect. And then I really love that you did when, uh, when it came to you, you said, why don't y'all all rate yourselves 10s? <laughs> and then it started the conversation of, hey, you need to... Look at yourself a little bit more, and you need to be a 10. You're a 10, you're a 10, and you're a 10. And one of my critiques of women in general is that when women get together and they speak amongst each other, you guys rarely hold each other accountable and or tell each other the truth. You will tell each other, you look fine the way that you are. You don't need to lose weight. You're a perfect girl. You go queen, etc. And that conversation was going to happen had we not been here easily. And a lot of, because I've, I, I study women. I'm telling y'all. I, I literally study y'all. And this is why we have more obese women than we have obese men. We have more single women than ever before. And I argue that is because women are not critical of each other. They tell each other comforting lies versus painful truths. It's true. Just now. We literally witnessed it. Y'all saw it in 4K. She told them, why didn't y'all all rate yourselves 10s? If I guarantee if the guys weren't here, the conversation would have been a little bit different. Well, you know what? Maybe I am a 9. Or you know what? Fuck these niggas. I'm the best. And that's why a lot of girls have quite a bit of hubris in 2022. So my thing is, I genuinely have seen and believe that women <laughs> gas each other up to no, to no fucking fail, bro. So I don't know if you guys agree, disagree, if you have something you want to say on that. But men don't operate like that. You if, wanna... your guy is, if your if guy friend is fat, you got to tell him, bro, you look like fucking shit. Or you're going to make fun of him for it. Women, y'all don't do that to each other. You guys don't That's criticize each other. It That's is. not true because my friends mm -hmm. would chew my ass if I wear an outfit and they don't fuck with it. They're going to chew my ass. Yeah, but they're not going to tell you, but you look ugly. They're going to tell you, hey, like, I no, think you look better friends, than this. Like, listen, you know what I hate? Caribbean? I hate, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> I hate when I'm cool and I'm close as fuck with somebody and they don't tell me the truth. Like, girl, if I walk out with an outfit and that shit is ugly, like, I want you to tell me the truth. Because if somebody else okay. tell me it's ugly and you don't tell me it's ugly, I'm going to be like, damn, I can't let her judge no more. Like, I can't really fuck with her well, she can't be honest with okay, me. Okay, let's rewind. Literally you let me come out of the house ugly? Let's rewind like 10 minutes ago. Not even 10, like four minutes ago. You're telling all the girls here to rate themselves tens. Yeah. <laughs> They're not because, tense. Listen. <laughs> no, this is the thing. No, this, no, this is the thing. This, this is the thing, right? When you are confident with, with, within yourself, you mm -hmm. feel better. Like, if you wake up and you be like, man, I'm beautiful as fuck, your confidence is different. If you wake up and you be like, I'm all right. Yeah, but real life, though. How not do you, for real. How do you improve, though? If you think you you're... You take care of yourself. No, but you're saying... You take care I, of yourself. Look at confidence, thinking I'm a 10. What, where do I improve? Versus, you know what? I'm a six Whatever five. you're lacking, I, I feel like you like, just don't because it's just who you are. And another thing that people seem to not like talk about is the fact that you might a person might be like a ten to one person, but just because that person's a ten to that person doesn't mean that you're a ten to the other. But that's that you person. Know? There's a lot of people that's it's, not attracted to me. That's normal. There's a lot of people that say I'm ugly. That's there's a lot of people that say I'm ugly. I get on like I get on um these lives and it'd it be like a lot of people on there. They make fun of me all the time, but that don't take away Balance. how I feel about myself. Yeah. You I know, mean, if you, you know, have flaws, like reality. okay, for example, I had a child, right? <laughs> and my body was different. I had a SpongeBob body. So to make myself feel better, what did I do? I went and I got my body done. It made me feel better within myself, not because people was making fun of me because I still had a nice body before. But what am I going to do for myself? That's why I respect Jada Waiter. Like Jada, she was like, okay, yeah, I got my lips done. Or she had a lazy eye and they was making fun of her for the lazy eyes. It's nothing wrong with fixing yourself. You feel me? Like, it's nothing wrong with making yourself. I feel like with us females, we have to be right. confident. That's how you attract different people. Because if you're walking outside, you like, ah, whatever, I'm okay. Beauty. But if you walk outside and you just like smiling, you feel flawless. Like more people. I, will, I would argue that true. that mindset is is what is what keeps. I, I would argue against that mindset because that mindset is what keeps so many women single, perpetually single. What is you because mean? What they think that they're perfect or they have a higher um, sense of self worth it's than not... they really hold on than than they actually really have. Because here's the thing, though. I always laugh women to give themselves tens, etc. If you're really a ten, then you're a supermodel and you should be married to an A-list athlete. You're not though. And women, the thing is, women, women is that they arbitrarily give themselves their own scores. And if your score was really that high, you would be married to a high-value guy, but you're not. So therefore, that means you clearly have to work on yourself. 
But women l- love to give themselves perfect scores all the time and say that there's nothing you wrong with me. You want me to write but myself. Men, but men, though, what I've come to realize <laughs> with men is men operate in reality. Men understand, yo, I'm a fucking loser. Like, I don't see... Here's the thing. There's a difference between men and women. I'll never see a dude that loses his mom, is a fucking bum, fat, etc., pizza grease on his shirt saying, yo, son, I deserve a bad bitch. Yeah. And then all his boys around him like, yeah, yeah, nigga, you deserve a bad bitch. You go, king. We don't do that shit. Go, we king. got a bunch of fucking whales out here, chicks that look like dog shit, saying, yo, I deserve a top tier man. Yeah, you go, queen. Oh, and, you they go, queen. Do, and you know what I'm talking about, queen. You see those fucking whales in the club thinking, yeah, it's single ladies. Oh, no, what the fuck? Y'all need to go back to the gym. But women gas each other up and lie to each other all but the you know time. Hold on, let me finish. So they, so they don't live in reality, bro. And they lie to each other and perpetuate this fucking bullshit narrative like, yo, I'm perfect. I deserve a high value man. And they're 300 pounds. What the fuck? But men... If I'm a fat loser, etc., my friends are gonna clown me. I'm not. You, you'll never catch a bum ass nigga <laughs> that loses his mom. That's a loser and knows he's a loser. Saying, "Yo, I deserve a bad bitch." They just take what they can get because they live in reality. He's still gonna have a bitch though. So huh? how? He's still gonna have a bitch. Probably not. But she ain't bad though. She ain't bad though. She ain't bad though. So um, go ahead. So um, how do you know that a woman hasn't turned down what you would consider a high value man based off of his, you know, income and anything like that? Like, what if Being she just tiny. didn't want to be with That's that true. motherfucker because... What does just... that have to do with the argument, though? <laughs> what I'm saying is, like, you said that <laughs> if you are a 10, this is exactly what you said, right? You said if you are a 10, then you should definitely be married Thank to a high-value man. Yeah. This is what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. If, okay. so if you are a 10 and you're not married to a high-value man, how do you know that she didn't just turn down that those motherfuckers, maybe she just doesn't want to have a fuck, don't, don't want to be with somebody? You want to know how? Because I know that the female biological imperative is to find the best man and lock him down in some type of security. That's why. Definitely not every woman. <laughs> okay. Some niggas Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If Miami, I lined up... Okay, Miami hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go Miami with the exception girls. to the rule. If I line up 100 women, 90 of them <laughs> are going to want a stable relationship with a man of value that they admire and respect and want to be monogamous with that man and get security from that man. Women don't run around and sport fuck most of the time. Now, can some girls do it? For sure. But most of the time, if I line up 100 chicks, they're going to want one guy. Now, switch on the other side with men. Line up 100 dudes. Most of them are going to want a main chick and then have sex with as many girls as they can get. Most guys can't pull that off, though. So that's how I know that if a girl is really a, a 10, she should have a high-value man by her side and a ring and his last name. Hold on. Perfect. Costa Rica, go ahead. What's up? Um, I know you got something shit. to say. I, I can see it. I don't even know where we're at anymore. I'm so deep into the conversation. Uh, we're talking about women being delusional of their own self-worth. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, One out of ten. It's it's a complicated question because, like, to me, honestly, like, we're we're all different. Everybody got a different mentality. Um, I feel like confidence doesn't really have a lot to do with it in this day and age, in this world that we live in, in this social media based kind of concept that we have, like this world. It's it does have to do with numbers, ones yeah. through tens. So I think you have learned to categorize yourself in some sort of fucking number, whatever. But to be honest, like, everyone's different. Like, yes, the confidence, like I said, confidence can be there. Confidence can be at the top of your game. I have confidence. I got confidence. I also know that I'm not top of the line. I know there's women way more beautiful than me, and I know we're all beautiful. But I know there's women with different features. Not all. That, not all. No. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, it's, it's uh, anyway. no, definitely, yeah, not all. Nah, yeah, okay, not. there's somebody for everybody. Anyways, <laughs> like, you know, like, we all got, like, I don't know, dude. It's it's hard to explain. Like, everybody got their, their own form well, of, of rating themselves like we all got a different fucking and that's a problem checklist though. yeah but that that's but why is that a problem though like because, y'all the niggas making the checklist yeah th- th- so thank now you. we're going down the fucking line like oh yeah here's, I here's the thing here's the thing. Here's like, the thing. I'm fuck- like what here's the thing when men say what they like in women or whatever Y'all want to be like, ah, la, 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 la. But then you guys want to go ahead and arbitrarily assign a number to yourself based off what you think a man finds attractive. Here's a cold, hard reality. Your confidence, your ambition, how much money you earn, your f- uh, alpha female persona, it's not really relevant. These are things you look for in a man, but men don't necessarily look for that in you. So women always make the mistake of thinking that attraction is symmetrical. It's not. It's asymmetrical. We look for different things in the opposite gender. For example, if I ran around and said, Hey, I'm a really masculine man, but I want to wear a dress on Saturdays and go like this. You'd be like, what the fuck? You wouldn't take me seriously. But why do we have women running around saying, 
I'm an alpha bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, nigga. Uh. But you guys, like, <laughs> why is masculinity for women accepted, but it's not accepted for men? Because men understand that they have to operate a certain way to get the opposite gender. Women don't, though. Y'all think, I'm going to act however I want. I'm a 10. I'm a queen. Period. I'm not losing weight. I'm perfect. Period, Period. nigga. Period. You should accept me the way I come. And the reality is, no, they don't. And it's being shown right now with the marriage rates and the divorce rates and also this, the high single rates of a lot of women. So the reality is we're not attracted to the same thing. So you can sit there and be, I'm a 10. I'm confident. I'm ambitious. Whatever. Men don't give a fuck about that shit a lot of the time. Are you attractive first? Are you feminine first? Are you submissive first? All that other shit comes in after the fact. You gonna be submissive for the for the right nigga? Oh, so you're conditionally submissive. No, because the thing about it is, some niggas feel like because they make Merch. a lot of money, they could come in the house and treat you however. Yes. Because they just, you know. Yes. So. Well, if you're gonna pick and choose when you want to be a lady, I'm gonna pick and choose when I want to be a no, guy. No. I don't wear a dress on Saturdays. We, we go based off the nigga though. So if I you go based off the chick, you're right. super masculine. So how about I wear a dress on Saturdays leading. and you, you're leading. Act, you wear jeans on you're Saturdays? You're leading and I'm following. You're leading and I'm following. So you give me a good vibe, I'm gonna give you a good vibe. But here's the problem, though. You treat me right, I'm gonna treat you right. You feel me? Okay, let's you... use your logic. Let's use your logic. Let's say someone breaks into the house. You know what? We shooting together. Uh, What's up, babe? I've heard Pass me the Glock. I'm, no, I'm gonna look at you and say, "Hey, listen, man. <laughs> Wait, I don't feel like being the man right now. All Can right? you shoot with those I'm, nails? I'm gonna be conditionally <laughs> masculine. Like you gotta go ahead and deal with the problem. You look at me like I'm crazy, right? No. So I know here's here's, here's my problem. Here's my thing. Here's my thing with modern day women. Y'all could pick and choose when you want to be ladies, but the man has to. He can never pick and choose it's when he wants to be a man. It's not that. No, listen. It's not that we pick and choose. The thing about it is today, right? We making money too. Back in the days, we wasn't making no money. We was in the we was in the crib, right? Mm -hmm. Right now, we making money. So you can't walk in and just treat us any type of way. You feel me? Because we bringing shit to the table too. Now a bitch that's not bringing nothing to the table, you gonna you gonna be able to run over her. Like me, I'm very submissive. Like when I talk to a nigga, I cook for you. I cook. I clean. I do everything. You ain't gotta worry about question, nothing. Question. Question. Right. Question but, for you, because I want to use your, your, let's use your logic back. Okay. Let's say I come to the relationship and I got like a amazing wardrobe of clothes, a Miri this, Dior that, a 200 uh, pair Jordan collection. What would you think of that? That shit don't matter. Thank you. Uh -huh. Your money doesn't matter. <laughs> no. See, no, hold on, whoa, 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 stop the show. That's the equivalent. That I, I need you to let that sink in for two seconds. When women say, I'm bringing money to the table in my career. That's like me telling you, I'm bringing my fashion, I'm bringing my drip, yeah, I'm swagged out. It doesn't matter to you. Why? Because you don't benefit from me dressing well. I don't benefit from you having money necessarily. Because when women make money, it's their money. When I make money, it's our money. We don't look for the same things. I feel like everybody mindset different because if you're dating somebody and y'all building together, right? Y'all building an empire. Y'all investing Women together. Women don't build, they move in. No, that's not true. That's, you can't speak for everybody. <laughs> you want a nigga making 480k a year? Listen, there's a, lot, there's a lot of women that still to this day will not leave their parent house or leave their home until they are married. Thank you. They move in. Who's no, my point? they buy a house together. They buy a house together and both of our names go into the, the uh, mortgage, right? You move in. That's not moving in. That's moving in, bro. Whatever. Yo, you want a guy that has a castle, 480k per year. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Like, your money that, listen, is your money. The reason why my mindset is like that is because I don't spoke. I don't listen. I don't talk to a guy that had less than me, right? And I never mistreated him. But as soon as that nigga came up on some money, he, he went you. after bitches that he couldn't <laughs> yeah, afford. He just so now, point. Well, then, I so mean. now, <laughs> so so now, nah. so now, my mindset is I'm going to date somebody at my level or somebody that's higher. You just proved this point. <laughs> All right, if you prove your point, then okay, yo, yeah, you won. Real quick, Chris, you won. Play a video real quick. Yo, you won. This is comical. So, yo, yo, so we got a video, right? That explains perfectly uh, what you, video. you just talked about uh, with Donovan Sharp. Um, bring it up real quick. Oh, we got well, play? Fresh. Right. The video is being is ready right now. Right here. Two seconds. <laughs> oh my God, Chris, come on, man. Fresh. The video is being ready right now. It's being downloaded right now. <laughs> this nigga, when he heals. It's because it's because uh, they got to render it. That's why. <sighs> um, all right. So how about this? I got a question for ladies while we wait for this video to come up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna transition real quick. <laughs> if you walked around in the world, mm -hmm. okay, and. You can actually size up a guy immediately. Oh, okay. All right. We'll play this video real fast. Yep. Can, can you give the background on this video real quick, uh, Fresh or Chris or somebody? Mo, you want to do it? Go ahead, Mo. He... Um, this is from our, one of our mentors, Donovan Sharp. This is explaining another dynamic between what the guy wants and what the woman wants. Okay. Well said. Thanks, Mo. Let's, let's right. go. At least Mo's on point. <laughs> 
<laughs> nigga, I know you're talking, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool, let's man. go. Let's play this video. I'm like a head top boy. Mm. <laughs> Which one is it? Is right. it that, that one? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Hey, will you make hey, me a sandwich? Make a sandwich? Your feet are working, working aren't, aren't they? they? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, I'll go I'll make it myself. <sighs> wake up! Wake up! <sighs> what is, what is it? it? I think somebody's downstairs. Your feet work, don't they? they? <laughs> hey, will you make me a sandwich? Oh, Jesus. Hold on, it's it's uh, echo. One second, let me see if it's audio. There you okay. go. Oh, that's hilarious. I right, do it over Christian. <laughs> oh man, that was hilarious, bro. I saw that this morning. I was like, yo, that's definitely true. Hey, will you make me a sandwich? Your feet are working, aren't they? Uh. Yeah, okay, I'll go make it myself. <laughs> wake up, wake up. What is it? I think somebody's downstairs. Your feet work, don't they? <laughs> okay. Hey, will you make me a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Dress, Dress heels, everything. Good. There you go. All right. Um, and that's what we're trying to say is that, like, it's kind of ridiculous that women can absolve themselves of feminine responsibilities when they feel like it, but men are not expected to at all. And my thing is just simply this if you want me to be a man at all times, it's only fair that I want a lady at all times. So, well, why does that make them I mean, a lady? What was that? Why? Why does a woman, a woman cooking and cleaning? Why does that make her a lady? Because these are traditionally feminine traits. Tradition, but tradition has changed. Uh, well, here's the thing: you want a man to protect you, correct? Correct, but make I can money, also right? protect myself. Hold on, hold on. I also make you want a man money. to be, if you're in a relationship with a man, you want him to protect you, correct? Yeah. Make more money than you, correct? Yeah. Be taller than you, correct? Be stronger than you, correct? <laughs> right? Yeah. These are all idealistic. These are traditional traits. <laughs> so it's only fair that the man wants traditional traits back in you. But who made it that way? Come on, men. Wait, that's just and, the way the world has worked. And we changed it. Can I just? Uh, <laughs> women changed it. Women have changed it, and now look at what we have as a result of that. Do you know what we have? What do we have? We have the highest divorce rates. Highest uh, women initiate eighty percent of the divorces. We have some of the highest um, uh, numbers of female unhappiness ever. Okay, but like a hundred years ago, like you couldn't get divorced if you're a woman and you're with a man and you're married to that man. A lot of women back then. They didn't marry a man by choice. They married a man because they were told to marry a man and they had to marry a man. Okay. So if the patriarchy is so oppressive, why do women still want marriage to this day when they have the most uh, ability to be free? I don't know. Exactly. I you. So you can't beat your biology. <laughs> you can't beat your biology, bro. You can Let say that like, women are more That's liberal funny. now. We can be on our own. You guys can be independent. But the reality is a woman, it left her own devices. She wants to be codependent on the best man that she can get. Can I just like... Go ahead. All right. So me critiquing that video um i feel like merch merch for one, <laughs> for one um the in that in the first part where he was you know asking the girl to make him a sandwich um he's the one that was just gonna be hungry at the end of the day if he didn't get it you know it's just something that he probably would have had to deal with but with those two being in the bed and somebody might have been downstairs you know robbing the place and he said that, well, y'all both just going to get killed. You know, that shit don't benefit you either. That's but I can say up. that. But I can say that, you know, <laughs> so but look, I can say that though, right? Because oh, me, wow. my 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 people, my people in my family, I'm from Louisiana. They taught me how to use a gun. I ain't got to wake up nobody on next to me to do what I got to do. So that, you know, for me, it's not that that's not the case for me. And also, I don't mind making a fucking sandwich. So you're saying you, know, you, but you, you can make a sandwich for me, too. If you I leave your man like, hungry. Without food. Didn't I just say I don't? You didn't. You didn't let me finish, did you? I don't mind. I see her logic making here. a sandwich. I feel like we can both make sandwiches for each other if one doesn't feel like doing it. If you don't feel like doing it, of course I'll make you a fucking sandwich. But if I don't feel like doing it, make so, me one hold too. On. He worked all day. Came we home. Both work. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, he worked all day. It's not that. Society. It's not yeah. that. No, well, we both work. She, she ain't working. He worked you all don't day. Know what you don't know what she doing. Doing. Well, here's, here's, here, 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 Okay, I see her argument. Her argument is this, guys. I'm boiling it down. Yeah. Her argument is simply, by me making the sandwich, there's no mutual benefit. Only he benefits, and I have to put myself 
to work to a degree to get them a sandwich versus when they break into the house, we mutually benefit because you're protecting the both of us. Yeah. Fantastic. Good argument. No, mm-hmm. I can't. I can yeah. do it myself. That, yeah. That's but it's better. Different. The man's more capable. No, I don't need one. Is what I'm trying to Women tell you. Women don't need a man. No, you no, know. it ain't that. It ain't that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that I was taught to hunt. It's, I'm a different. I'm okay. a different case. Here's, 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 here's the thing, though. We can't base all our arguments or, or, or the podcast on your personal life. We're speaking in generalities here. So let me make sure I understand your argument correctly. Mm-hmm. The sandwich only benefits the man. However, no. protecting, protecting, you literally just said that. I'm not benefiting. No, from... I'm saying the sandwich, if he's hungry or not, and the girl doesn't feel like doing it, what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're going to, you're going to be hungry. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But, but that's what you're trying to say is that you, by you making the sandwich, he's benefiting. You're not necessarily benefiting, but him protecting both of y'all, you both benefit because there's a danger to both of you. Yeah, he's gonna die too. Okay, like, understandable. Go back to sleep, be like your feet don't work. But, but, you, but you go, you dead. Yeah, but, but here's the thing. This goes back. Don't make no sense. This this goes back to not the same. Well, it, it, here's the thing though. Go ahead, go Gender ahead. roles are a thing. Like the woman's job. I know this sounds terrible and oppressive, but a woman's job is acts of service to her man. A man's job is to protect and provision for his woman. So this that assumes that we're equal. We're not. No, I'm not saying that we're equal. But as far as pay and everything, I feel like for one. March. Neither one, neither, neither party needs to be in a fucking relationship. If you really look at it, you don't need to be in, to have a partner. The man doesn't need to have a partner. The man doesn't need to be married. If you really look at it and the woman nowadays, especially the woman doesn't need to be in a relationship either. So if you decide to be in a relationship with the, with somebody, man or female, then y'all both should be able to do you know different things this is is mm-hmm. it's not traditional no more you you know women at and that's at a problem a though point, women is at a certain a point you know obviously needed to be you know in relationships to have certain things and to have access to certain yeah. things but nowadays that's not the case but my so, argument is even though we have these modern conventions and women are capable of being by themselves they still want a boyfriend or they still want a husband. They still want to get married. Yeah, that's a problem. I don't know. I problem to me. I okay, don't that's it. a problem. But here's uh, once again, we can't base the entire know, world around course, you because you keep making arguments based on I'm yourself. Not making ar- Look, it, like you're an exception to the rule. Fantastic. But I know, most women don't think the way you do. Thing. It's just who I am. I mean, I can only speak from my goddamn experience. I he's can't talking speak about in generality. Else. So like speaking in general. Yeah. Like okay. That. Well, I I can't. I can only speak from how I feel. What is the argument? And that's the difference she between knows. men and women. We're able yeah. to take our feelings out of it, have yeah. an objective conversation based on logic and fact and how the world really works, versus you keep attributing every experience back to yourself. But I feel like yes. that's because Funny. men weren't Merch. raised to be emotional. Mm. That's why you guys act in the way. Oh, so happens. backwards. I don't know what just happened there. Huh? Yeah, like she just said emotional. No, he because said he said he said no, men don't think of... with their feelings. We think about logic and whatever else he said. What? If you talk, and he's valid because if men you think were about raised it, to to show emotion or to think with hold, emotion. Hold on. If you think about it though, what I just said wasn't based off of my emotions. It was based off of just freaking facts. You don't need to have a man. Men don't need to have women to be in relationships or to su- or to su- survive and succeed. You don't need that. That's facts. It it is based off of emotion as to why men want to be in a relationship it is based off of emotion as to why women want a relationship me it ain't how i feel it's just how i am just like how men are naturally just like how women are naturally but in reality it's not based off of men or men feelings. and women want men so that's a good point you literally said I feel but like reality women, but okay. is like it's gonna happen regardless yeah i said feel yeah. i said feel but that was just you know based off of facts that was off that was piggybacking off of facts <laughs> But it's so, it's attributed back to yourself, which you've already explained is you're an exception to the rule. So it's not facts. No, the yeah. facts is that you don't need to be in a relationship. That's what I that's what I call it as facts. I'm not saying that my personal feelings or opinions were the facts. You don't need to be, but women want to be. So do men. Mm, women overwhelmingly want are the ones that want to be in a relationship and get married. Also, y'all did y'all also know that one reason why women probably are single and a lot of men you know that a lot of men aren't it's because it's a lot more men in the world than there are women in the world yeah. so that's uh, actually uh, incorrect it's, there's it's more opposite. women than there are men oh, no, 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 no. i'm so sorry yeah i'm reverse you know there's okay. a lot more there's a lot more women in the world than there are men yeah you know so of course that automatically just statistically that's irrelevant kind of i mean that's down. that's irrelevant because women irrelevant. don't it's it is just... irrelevant and the reason why is because most women don't see most men most men are literally invisible to most women and the selectors. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So you can make that argument, if but I it doesn't had, change anything. Okay, so so just saying, if I had like five, so if there was just five women in the world, right, and there was only two men, how in the world would that be irrelevant to as far as these these five women trying to get in a relationship with these two men that only exist? Because we have billions versus yeah, just two. But yeah. there's not. No, I'm yeah. saying no. It just, doesn't force I'm it. Just, yeah. I, I don't get it. It's so if everybody matched up, right? Everybody was able to match up with a partner. It's going to be a lot of more women without one. You know what I'm saying? So how is that irrelevant is what I'm trying to ask. I don't get Are it. Are you aware of the fact that there's a minority of men that have sex with the majority of the women? What? There Mine. is a minority of the men <laughs> mm -hmm. that have a, have sex with the majority of the women. In other words, a lot of guys are sexless and or virgins. Okay. So 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 what my so based on that fact, I know that most women don't see men as suitable candidates for some type of sexuality. Will they stay versions? How old are these men that you're talking about? Oh, Between man. 18 to 30, we know that one third of men are okay, either so virgins or haven't turn, had sex in a year. All right. Yeah. So by the time they turn 31, then they then they have. You're missing the bigger picture here that women are far more selective sexually than men are. So therefore, a lot of guys are ostracized from the sexual marketplace. You're looking at it through a female lens. It's easy for you to get sex, but it's not easy for a man to get sex mm -hmm. think unless about, they become a somebody. Think about how, how many guys you get, you, you kind of like reject when you see like walking the street on Instagram. Many guys and most guys don't measure up to what you want. So off, off of that alone, you know, most guys are not getting laid for the most part. I don't know. I she didn't did, did know that. No, I didn't know. I, I didn't know. You that. didn't know that because you wouldn't have made that argument earlier. I would have. If you knew no, that, I'm, that the numbers just don't match up. That there's way more it's way women. Way more women than men. So, but it doesn't matter because yeah. women virtually most men are invisible to most women. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. I want to. Sorry, I want to yeah, use this as an analogy. Like 15 minutes ago, like back to that with yeah. men and women and all that. Like, yeah. just look at our DMs. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's pretty like universal to all of us on the panel right now like how many men do you kind of curve or you know just say eh? but how many men are you actively trying to pursue i think that's the point they're trying to make is that it is a the point they're trying to make is that women generally have a way easier time of getting people in bed you know like Absolutely. that's just how it is and yeah. so i realize that like just go through your dms and it's pretty like Perfect. transparent there you go yeah, men fuck men fuck who they can. Women fuck who they want. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not something that I don't. It's not something that I'm not understanding. So I then, get it, so then you know. know. Yeah, I, I understand. So what's the yeah. argument? The the Yo. argument is the fact that there are more women than there are. No, nah, because like <clears throat> they say it all the time. Like, dude, I was an average man at once. Like, it's very hard. <laughs> it's very hard <laughs> to have sex with women. Like, it's <laughs> fucking hard. Like. It's it's, it's very hard. hard. I, yeah, I, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't think you get it. Myron's right. But like, <laughs> um, yeah, we ask for so little, and like you guys can't even. Recipe dude, like that. yesterday, I was filming a video. I was trying to go up to this girl with a dog. She just totally curved me. Like it's it's very like I couldn't. I can only imagine like a regular guy. It. Oh, no, I was just doing it for a video. I don't really give a shit about the chick. But like, <laughs> um, I just wanted to make a joke about it. But like. Like you even tell in Miami, it's fucking hard. Like yeah. no girl. I mean, like it's you, have here, a you literally have in to general. have a section. Well, then, you have know. to have a section or chains on, or you gotta have <laughs> some chains sort of, on, nigga. I mean, barely like, though. Straight straight up. That's I mean, and, and that's not some to blame of women. Like even Myron don't even and Fresh, have game what's verbally anymore. That doesn't matter because, like, but it does. It does not matter. No, it's matter. You, really that, you, you do realize you just made our argument even better by saying y'all don't even have game anymore verbally. Not even that, verbally. But but that, that, that proves my point. That's, yeah. that's perfect. Yeah. We get Thank you. That, that, that just all you did oh, yeah, was to cement yeah. that there's another prerequisite needed what, to attract me. Suck. Exactly. Yeah. Like yeah, most men suck a game. That, yeah, you suck the game. You, 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 it's not you game. guys made it believe yeah, that y'all need money for us to like you. It's so not, 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 not at all. One mic, one mic, one mic, one mic. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. I got y'all. Thank you, man. One mic. I think you're missing the point that you don't need game versus we do. We can All have right. the money okay. and not have game and okay. still take an L. You don't need anything and you can get the guy. Yeah. Do you Bam. not see the logic here? Yes. Okay. okay. So, so it, what's the argument? <laughs> 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 Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on because this is going on. nowhere fast. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Let's okay. read uh, 20 up now. Uh, yeah. We're going to read 20 up. Um, cool. 
And then we'll do an agitate video. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I'll read these, then we'll move transition to the next topic. Okay. Question for the 304 Avengers. What is the best ethnicity that you have ever smashed? No cap. Real quick. White, black, Asian, Haitians. Chinese. Haitian? Yeah. Hispanic and black. Okay. I think that question was for us. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Girls. 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 Oh, it's for girls. The girls? Yeah. Okay. Haitian. Haitian? Mm -hmm. Damn. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, Cajun. Cajun? Yeah. Cajun boil? <laughs> That's what they're asking. All right, right. I like my Hispanic. Hispanic? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hispanics. Cool. Okay. Salim. For me? Yeah. I love blonde chicks. I fucking think they're hot as shit. There you go. Co Cousin Jay on the couch. I love all women. <laughs> Good answer. He's capping. I only had experience with uh, white girls. Okay. Yeah. White, white women are amazing, bro. White girls. All right. Go, uh, Mr. Savage goes for Salim. Y'all should collab with My House is Dirty. The pranksters there in Miami right now would be lit. Oh, okay. there you go. Oh, they're funny as fuck. I like them. Uh, Berserker mode. Uh, what's up, Myron and Fresh? So, ladies, I'm doing an experiment. Let's say you go on a date. It went well. So, going back to the guy place, he's driving a Mercedes E53 and driving fast. Will that get your pum pum wet? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Seto Kaiba goes, uh, cotton candy face as Super Saiyan blue face as oh, blue clues face ass. Swiffer, the better cleaner upper face ass. Blue hair, white dragon face ass. Uh, your hair at the berries from Wonka factory face ass. Too easy. Do you have anything you want to say back to Seto Kaiba? <laughs> my trap card! I mean, you know... <laughs> what 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 do you look like? <laughs> uh, well, he's, 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 a, he's a duelist. He's a duelist. What what that mean? Let me look at him. Right, he's just cards to duel people. He's a duelist. Oh, we yeah. can duel. I'll definitely fuck you up tonight. Hey, don't worry, y'all. I got you ready. So yeah, that, that's the nigga talking shit right now. Yeah, yeah it's okay. That's him. Yeah, that's him. Oh my god. Yeah, that's him. I'm talking about. You don't even oh have god. your. You don't even have your own. Um, your own picture up there. I no, 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 no. That's, that's him. him. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. I highly doubt that you look better than me, homeboy. I'm I mean, you know he's, that right but he's a he's a billionaire, right? Billionaire. What is a billion? What they gotta do with you? Your looks. <laughs> oh, you yeah. ugly. You ugly. Uh, Jay Z out. not cute. I don't give a damn. Hey, you got man. Beyonce though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and, and still fucks other chicks. Shout out to F and F City Boys. We out you. Okay. Uh, we got um versus Lizzo has a lot of money and nobody wants to fuck with her. That's the difference. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who want to fuck with her. Y'all know her inbox. What it look like? Yeah, well, uh, buggers. Which that's skinny, that's skinny niggas, Jordan like real shorties. skinny niggas, like, like girls. Mm -hmm. I got big girls as homegirls and the skinny but niggas. Want, I'm a skinny but they, dude. But the big girls don't want him. Yeah, no. <laughs> big girls like skinny niggas. Bro. <laughs> Lizzo yeah. out here looking crazy. She has all the money in the world, but she can't attract a fucking guy. Versus if we had a fat dude, he gonna get a chick with money. It's funny. That's all, what I'm trying to explain to you guys. That, like, smalls. A woman's money don't matter, don't mean shit. But you know it's funny? All the guys that she wants, like in her songs or whatever, don't want her. They don't want her. Don't want the dudes her. that have her kind of money, they're fucking models and bad bitches. They don't want her. They don't want to deal with a fucking whale. That's factual. God damn. Man of harpoons. Yeah, it's the facts, bro. Oh shit. It's it's un unacceptable to be fat in 2022. Fresh, I don't care how many so special guests you bring on. I still got a bust. Why, why is Shorty with the blonde hair after the show you're coming with us? I hope you can handle me because yeah, I'm feeling extra hot. tingly tonight. Make a move, Fresh. Uh, that's from Fresh's dick. Uh, do you have anything you want to say back to Fresh's Stop. dick, Miss Pennsylvania? Miss Pennsylvania would politely decline. Okay. Stop, man. Uh, print only with two of us, okay? Uh, pink. Okay, uh, you want to drop your Instagram? I think he's shooting a shot at you. K.Banks.One. You well, you guys know how much money you got to make now, so if you don't make a half a million dollars a year, she ain't fuck with you. Uh, <laughs> P. Kappa 01. KS, RIP, turn me into FNF, and I and watched your get laid on the first date, and it never fails. Three different venues, and 75% chance of the time these girls smash on the first date. Yo, so you boys will. Our blueprint first day late is excellent man you follow that man you're getting late bro we got you mr gaines <laughs> how come your show is always on the black people time you ain't never on time come on former government employment you know as well as i do 10 to 15 minutes prior i mean we do live man yeah bro i mean watch sure. this stream and you'll see yeah uh <laughs> make no mistake this is the official rating for tonight's episode from rain on down this is your rain right yeah is that your actual government name mm -hmm. it's rain okay she makes it rain uh he's giving you a four <laughs> a four and then another four 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 all right and then <laughs> A five, five, a six, blushing with fa with fresh. Okay, damn. And then five for for you. He said that, that you're not smart. She, she blushing in general. Okay, uh, and then it's okay, guys. They make fun of us way worse than you. <laughs> what you uh, look like? The bikini bottom bandit. Sure. Storm sitting by Fitz said he's a f ninja because he's sleeping around, and then said, not the three seconds later, I was doing my own stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> but notice how she didn't refer to herself as a fuck ninja. No accountability. Oh, no, you want to say back to him? I'm not a nigger. 
So you're a fuck bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was just having fun. I was, I was on city girl saying. time. Okay. I was fuck nigga free. Demon time. Amazing. Yeah, I was on demon time. I love it how girls, they'll say, I was just having fun. But if a guy does the same thing, fuck boy. He's a whore. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> what, that's what society made it. Like, girls, it's like, you're on demon time. Like, whatever. Niggas is, it's you're a fuck boy. You're on fuck nigga shit. That's how society made it. I didn't make it that way. That's what we're talking how right now. Like yeah, this but- whole conversation has been on how society is and tradition, all that stuff. So yeah. I was on demon time. I was lit. I was outside. You know? I, we it outside. was a hot girl summer. And- all right. All of you three or fours complain about the fuck boys, yet those are the guys you are choosing. They never complain about the nice guys. All of you belong in the smash only bin. Anyone have a rebuttal to that? Wow. Okay. Um, wow. I didn't I mean, I didn't I didn't say I was dating. I ain't got no preference for that. I what I want. Wait, what? English? <laughs> <laughs> I said I had no preference about anything, like, about as far as dating. I'm not dating. I'm just fucking who I want. Fantastic. All right. Uh, we got, um, who's up next here? Uh, 50 bucks. Yo, Salim, Dallas is lit. When you visit, let the team know. F and F Dallas. All right, Hello. cool. Uh, and then, all right. So, ladies, I got a question for you guys. Um, Chris, I'll, I'll get back to it after. No problem. Uh, how many more do we have left? Uh, we have a couple more. All right, guys. From this point forward, I'm only going to read 50 and up. Thank you guys so much for the support. Every single super chat is going to be shown on screen. However, whether it's two dollars all the way up to whatever it may be, uh, forty eight nine forty nine dollars, everything's going to be shown on screen. Uh, we just want to make sure that I push through. And we got eleven thousand plus y'all in here, almost twelve thousand guys. Do me a favor and like the goddamn show, please, and like the goddamn video. So, ladies, let's say you're single, hypothetically speaking, in a dream world. All right, <laughs> and every single guy that walked by you, you were able to see. A tr- his traits stamped on his forehead. What were the two traits you would want stamped on his forehead so you would know what you're getting yourself into if you talk to this and guy? And for example, successful is one trait, faithful. Maybe his net worth. Good looking. So question. give us traits. two things that you would want on his forehead when you're walking around in the world selecting a guy. So he comes up to you at the club and he walks up to you or maybe you're walking down the street you're, or you're at Barnes & Noble, whatever it may be, two things stamped on the top of his head. What are those two traits that you want to see up front? And we'll start... Right here, Miss 480. Start over there. I mean, you already know one of them, right? Because I will, like, you know, know, I'm going to be honest. You don't have to say why. Just say what it is. Just say what it is, two things. I really want to know if a nigga is a cheater. Okay, so uh, faithfulness, and then what's the other thing? And another thing is, I want to know if he has a vision. Like, because somebody... Ambitious. Yeah. Yeah. That just means money. Faithful ambition. Pretty much, yeah. (laughs) Not because you could be broke today. You could have a vision and you could be, you could, it could get there, but most of the can't. time, probably not. I mean, like, <laughs> girls are not really going to give a shit. <laughs> Next. I mean, we've already proven that you move in. So, uh, okay, so uh, what about you? What are the two things you want on the forehead? I say loyalty and ambition. Define the loyalty for us real quick. Loyalty as in, you know, make sure he's going to be faithful to me. Okay. Sexual fidelity. Okay. Um, faithful. He needs to stay faithful to me. Okay. Um, loyalty. That's the same exact thing. <laughs> um, I just need to make sure that he's there for me. Make sure he's going to take care of me. Okay. I'm so sure. loyalty and I guess going to take care of you. Okay. Respect and sense of humor. All right. What about you? Um, do you have a high sex drive and are you not stupid? All right. So intelligence, intelligence and, and sex drive. What about you? Uh, probably passionate. And game? And, you know. Well, you complained about it earlier. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Do you game? Um, passionate and No, I would have said loyal, too, just for the fact that, like, I want someone that's got my back. Like, someone that I can call my friend. Okay, real quick. The loyalty. Are we talking about sexual fidelity or him uh, taking care of you? No, because I'm an open book in that department. So <laughs> I'm not talking about sexual fidelity because, okay. like, if that's the case then i don't know like that comes hand in hand like if we'll, you're we'll getting the loyalty because a lot of women define a lot of people define it differently so do you you mean as in you're he's you're, you're well, his I main say, i mean someone that's got my back loyal okay. like right. someone that's got your back so you don't someone care that i can count on uh if that's where we're at then no okay i okay. don't so so um <laughs> like, so loyalty just you know caring about you and what was the second one uh passionate okay what about you um, I would say loyalty and like drive, like ambition. Okay, your loyalty is that also sexual fidelity, or do you not care about it's that as much? All of the above, like sexual and um, 
the way he treats me, like the way it's like everything that anything that you would consider loyalty, that's what I consider loyalty. Like everything that fits in the book, that's loyalty to me. All right. Cool. All right. So we got a clip to play here. And this clip is from uh, the show Grilling, uh, guys. And uh, Andrew Tate was a guest on this show. Legendary. Top and G. and uh, this is actually a pretty funny clip. So show the Cheyenne and also Andrew Tate. All right. So we're going to play this clip here. Um, we, should, we should go on the show, too. You ready? <laughs> nah, bro. I don't want to go. Oh, we do is, you know, value. Hold on. Real quick. We buy a ticket, right? <laughs> we go to the airport, fly to the UK, do the show, come back. No. Is that simple? You could go, bro. I don't want to go. Man. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, You do it, bro. You'll be a better candidate anyway. Mr. Producer. Mm, yeah, yeah. All right. Mr. Producer. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. How can you be high value if 50 men have talked to you? What if I've just been single for a long time? No, unacceptable. Haram. Why is it unacceptable? Haram. A body count is probably the number one uh -huh. and easiest way to judge the value of a female. I actually think okay. that 19... No, 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 no. I'm going to say this. <laughs> I think 99% of the world's problems, and no one's going to understand this, but if you can extrapolate, if you can listen to this statement and extrapolate it out towards society at large, I think 99% of the world's problems would be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. Because it would prevent, because it would prevent all of the disintegration of morals, it would prevent so many things about the world. But you know, you know? What, there's like a and lot women would be like, <laughs> to be with me as a man, like I don't want to put another number on my forehead. You have to be a good man. They wouldn't stop f***ing these idiots and stop being idiots. And all the idiocy would disappear. All the degeneracy would disappear. Families would return. Virgins meeting their first man, staying with him her whole life and being proud of it. Wouldn't, couldn't we go back to such a beautiful age? All we have to do is start putting numbers on girls' foreheads. We could fix everything. <laughs> <laughs> He's hilarious. I love, oh, it. I love, I love, I love the way how you just ignore that bit. All right, so, so uh, ladies, moving on. Uh, so we'll go ahead and, uh, ladies, um, what's your reaction today? Yeah, what's your thoughts on that? We can start. Where did we start last time? We started here, right? So we're going to start with you next time. Yeah, I just started with me. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, then Rain, go ahead. I mean, that's loyalty right there. Boom. Yeah, but if we're gonna do that for women, we should do it for men also. Yeah. Like the way he just said it would solve a lot of issues, it would. Really? If men had their body count on their forehead and so did women, people will become a lot a lot more self conscious of their body count. So you care about a man's a man's body count? I don't. I don't give a fuck about so it. No I'm having sex sense with at you. All. No. <laughs> what he just said, Stupid. what he said in the video was that it would it would solve a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. It would for for people in society. For me, I personally don't give a fuck. But we're we're not talking about me. We're talking about society, right? So therefore, if everybody had their body count on their forehead, a lot a lot of people would become more self conscious about their body count, and body counts counts will be lower. It wouldn't be a discussion. We'll come back to that. Some people okay. don't give a fuck. You don't okay. give I don't a give a fuck. Shut I'm up. not okay. fucking your body counts. I'm fucking Real you. Real quick, with raise of hands, does a man's body count disqualify him from fucking with you, ladies? Raise your hand if it's a yes. I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna bother me because I'm gonna feel like you zest. Are you gonna still fuck with him though? No. Oh, like, you, you won't. Yeah, no, you will. If I, no, okay. I promise. Yeah, you will. No, I won't. No, I won't. Okay. So she's saying no. Niggas, this man. is my opinion though. This is my okay. opinion. Like if somebody come out and they act and see, this is what I be talking about, fuck nigga, right? Because they come out and they act like they so loyal. They don't be real with you. They don't be like, you know what? I'm, you feel me? I'm this. I'm this and I'm that. They not gonna say I'm this and I'm that. Let's say Money Back Gil pulls up on you and says, yo, I want you. He, got he can't body. get hold no. On, on. He, got, he got high body count. What you gonna say? No. I don't want him. Future. Future. I, I definitely don't want him. Drake. Like, Drake. Listen. Drake. Listen. Drake. Drake. No. LeBron James. No. Listen. You would. Who That's do you like? Cap, man. All right, do you like? How much you want to bet? Someone give him one of those cap hats. <laughs> there you go, brother. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, somebody, you can't speak for everybody, though. You feel me? You can't. You really can't. I can only speak for myself. What? That's crazy. Look oh. at <laughs> He's going bold. I'm really self conscious about my hair. <laughs> Sorry, my yeah, hair is too long. Yeah. Love yeah. Um <laughs> Okay, so basically all the so only one girl here cares about the guy's body count, but the rest of you don't necessarily care. This okay. my thing though. Like if you know a nigga like he just be outside, outside. Okay, I was born with I was raised with my mother and my father all my life. So I really look into relationships like I really want to be with somebody. When I start talking to somebody, I really get ghosts on people. You feel me? That's just me. I don't want to deal with somebody that is like you dare, 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 dare. Like, no, because 
you don't touch so many pussy you you gonna get my pussy or whatever is gonna be it's gonna be good for the moment you're gonna get bored you probably gonna want to move on or i don't know that's just how i feel i want a nigga that's like kind of like how russell is like you see how russell is <laughs> you wanna, they call him you cheesy wanna he they call him cheesy and shit but he a real ass nigga because he don't care hey let me say something put one more hat on i'm gonna knock your ass out <laughs> <laughs> that's the politically correct answer that would be a uh okay anyway okay um <laughs> what about you thoughts on the video uh um, it realistic is it not it's it's good idea it's bad fair. idea it's fair. it's fair uh it's not you know like she said though like i feel like it have to Merch. have the men's body counts too like the yeah. fuck like how you only gonna fucking stamp a woman's body count on their fucking forehead and mm-hmm. y'all ain't gonna take credit for what the fuck y'all got going on okay. remember like <laughs> we mentioned earlier the stamp of like two traits that you want in a man oh so so it's y'all so my trait traits versus my stamps like my traits that i want in a man versus, yeah, versus your body count <laughs> did you just say it was an open thing for you? <laughs> yeah. no it, it, yeah what the the sex like, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's an open thing. Who gives? The point is, if you're going to be with somebody and they got traits, like, that's that's a higher quality than a count, than a body count. Like, that's a much higher quality. That's such mm-hmm. a female response. But fantastic. We'll continue on. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm not no, fucking no, 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 no. female. No, 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 no. I, no, but it's great, though. It's great. It goes to show how how um how <laughs> different men and women what are. What you look for, for what guys would look for, yeah. basically. Okay. Correct. Yeah. It's different. You said it yourselves. Me. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? Take some shit off your. Oh, head? you were lying all over the place, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> How was it? Yeah, all right, go ahead. So <laughs> we're all adults, right? We grown. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck is still counting? I'm so confused. Yeah. A lot of men. What the fuck mm-hmm. about that? Like, why? I'm not gonna ask care? you, but I don't want to be with somebody uh-huh. that's all over the place. Uh-huh. I'm like, go, go ahead. But who cares? Like, if they're with you, they're with you. Who gives a shit about who they went through before? Why y'all doing that rush shit? I, I'm serious. Like, mm. I I personally don't give a damn. I'm not going to ask a nigga about his body count. I'm not. I never on, ask. I it's, a, never it's a ask good chance that. they don't yep. even know. I never ask. Let, because if you ask finish. me, I don't know. <laughs> let her finish. You know it's her saying? turn. Right, go ahead. No, like, it, yeah, you're going to get your chance. Don't worry. It's, yeah, a very good, it's a very good chance. Like, unless it's unless it's low, that you probably don't even know what the hell your body count is. You know? Mm. If you're being honest. Yeah. You know, because... I if you ask me, I wouldn't freaking know. I'm not. I've been. I've been stopped counting. Like, all right, been stopped. Okay, so uh, for so for you, it doesn't matter. So for the man and on your own. And on yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's irrelevant to you. Period. All right. Kind of going off of that, I feel like merch. It's something <laughs> that if it wants to be brought up, it is brought up. And if you're together, like seriously, that's something you should talk about, and that's to each person to interpret. But like, if you're just hooking up with somebody. I don't like I don't care. I would never ask a guy straight up what his body count is and I would expect that from him as well. That might be like taboo to say on the show, but that's just how I am like genuinely. I don't care as long as I think that you're a decent human and you're not going to give me some crazy shit like I'm not going to dive into your past for real. Hmm. Okay. And and you could be honest about this. Would would it you know what? I'll wait until everybody goes. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I mean to me body count doesn't matter. Okay. I've never asked my man mm-hmm. what his body count was. He hasn't asked me. To me, that the past is the past. Do you now think he cares now. about your body count? I don't think so. He hasn't asked me about it. Okay. Hmm. What about you? I just feel like if we was doing a number shit, mm-hmm. then a nigga had 30. And let's just say I had five. Why the fuck would I go fuck with him? He got 30. Like, you just know he a zest ass person. That's just me. But have I ever asked somebody? Have I ever asked somebody, oh, what's your body count? I never asked anybody that. Mm-hmm. Never. Salim, go ahead. I got a question. If yeah, you please. had a man, right? Uh-huh. Say you had a man and you were at a club or whatever and a bunch of chicks were just hitting on him, would that turn you off or turn you on? Mm. Honestly, like, would you, it would you be on happy? His re- at- it depends on his reaction. Because if you acting like a zest ass nigga, like you just love it. Oh, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> think what the fuck is you doing? Like, I don't, respect me because you wouldn't like it if a whole bunch of men was hitting on me and I'm over here entertaining it. So it think, depends on his reaction. I don't I don't really think it's about his reaction. I'm thinking, what is your thought process when there's chicks coming up to your man like, hey. Like, it depends on his reaction. Because if my nigga respect me, right? If your nigga respect you as a female and he's not entertaining, then you're going to feel like I'm that bitch. But if he over here and he's like, oh, all this, you feel me? Like, it's a different vibe. So if his reaction is like, oh, he got to respect me. Away. 
You got to do your shit behind my back. Don't do that shit in my face. So what if he's like, what if he's like, all right, fuck you. Like, get out of my face in front of you. Fuck me? No, 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 not you. But the girl. Oh, I'm going to feel myself like, yeah, bitch, that's my nigga. Yeah. But but you'll like the fact that like women are approaching him though. I'm not going to. If he that nigga, he that nigga. If he that nigga, he that nigga. You feel me? You hear what I'm trying to say? But what I'm what I'm trying to say is like it doesn't matter of his reaction. I'm talking about the fact that women are approaching your man in front of you because I've seen it before and it's happened. Like I I know. Okay. If what your is nigga your... is a celebrity, right? Bitches gonna come for your niggas either way. But would that make you feel way better? The fact that women are yeah, approaching Yeah, I got this nigga. This is my nigga. So that, that really proves Myron's point that, like, girls do like guys that fucking pull shit. They like guys that can cheat. But won't. They You hit but, it right on time. But, but, yeah. no, <laughs> but uh, well, no, because the, the fact that he's capable of cheating in the first place, you'd be delusional if you don't think he's actually going to enact upon it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... Okay, but that's let me, great... okay, let's be for real, right? Because, like, majority of niggas cheat. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Now, if a nigga got respect for you, he gonna do that shit so yeah. hidden, you ain't not gonna find out about it. Not your you feel face. me? Yeah. He not gonna do that shit in your face. Yeah. So, when I say I want a nigga that's loyal, I want a nigga like, because I feel like a nigga gonna be curious. Like, you've been with somebody for so long, trust me, somebody gonna step out, somebody gonna cheat eventually, I right? don't think it would be that big of a deal if a guy cheated on you. You got in me your fucked eyes. up. In your eyes. You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. I feel like if we are in a relationship and you're making me your main girl, no bitch should come up to me. No bitch should be checking me. All your dirt that you're doing should not ever come Okay, to me. so what if he fucked all those other girls but provides security? I don't want to hear about it. I'm a lover. See, here's the thing. I, she I, don't yeah, give a fuck yeah. about the cheating. She just cares about not knowing about it. Yeah. That's what the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because niggas gonna cheat. cheat. Like, if you feel like your niggas okay, not okay. gonna here's cheat. Okay, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You do realize. Your, if you, this you, is you your do girl, realize you just dug yourself a hole, right? By saying that. <laughs> yes, I understand that. But if we, come on, in reality, right? It's like saying 1% of men don't cheat. Be honest. Niggas cheat. Niggas like the, you feel me? Like, niggas like to... I get it. You don't want to be embarrassed. You, you got your man. It's, it's not that. I feel like if you fuck with me the way that you say you fuck with me, you gonna, you gonna respect me in a certain way. Like, I feel like if a nigga just cheating and he just doing it like, all out, like all in front of you, he don't respect but here's you. The thing. I don't understand you, you, that. Because here's the thing. Your argument, yeah, her logic is off, but I'm going to explain it. First, you said, I don't want the, uh, the body count on the head can't be a certain number. Then you said, if you cheat on I me, hear about I just don't want to know about it. I don't want to hear about none of that shit. Okay, so I don't want to hear about so, your body so your count. thing is, but here's here's the problem that you're failing to, to miss. Uh, the, 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 here's the thing that you're failing to, to uh, understand. A guy that has chicks is attractive inherently. Period. <coughs> the whole reason he even got you in the first place is because he probably had experience with other girls, which is what makes him attractive in the first place. You just simply don't want to see it. So in other words, I always say that say this analogy: you go to a pizza shop, you enjoy the pizza. You don't necessarily give a fuck how the pizza is made, but if you watch the process, observing the process changes the process, right? Mm -hmm. You see them, how would they do it with the dough, the water temperature that they use, the spinning it in certain ways, putting it in a certain oven. You don't really give a fuck about that. You just want to enjoy the end product of the pizza, okay? So in other words, you just want to enjoy the pizza, but you don't know all the work and toil that the fucking guy had to go in the background to make that pizza for you. Listen, And this is what I mean when I say women don't understand the male experience whatsoever. ever. They really don't because... By the time you made that guy that's a stud, that looks good, that has money, has a diamonds, whatever, he had to bust his ass to get to that point. So you can't get mad at the process that made him attractive in the first place. He's going to continue to do what he did to get in that position, which is fuck bitches, which is why he's fucking you. I would love to be with a nigga that is loyal. I would really no love such that. thing. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you're saying that it's no such thing, right? So I would for the, rather, Especially for the like kind I of man said, that you want. For the like, man that you okay, want. But hell listen, no. But listen. Yeah. But that's why I said, right? Mm-hmm. I'd rather not know none of that shit. Like I'd rather not have a nigga number on top of his head, or you feel me? I'd rather not know anything because okay. I love hard. I fall in love very, very fast. Okay. So if I fuck with you, at least have some type of respect for me because that shit gonna tear me apart. Okay. Okay. You just don't want to know. But again, that, yeah, but, but here's the thing. So that contradicts what you said earlier. That you said, oh, that they can't have a high body count. He has thirty, no, and I got five. That's a problem. About, listen, we was talking about walking around with numbers on top of our head. What we what we not talking about that? Yeah. What did I say when we get into when I start talking to somebody? I don't ask them about their body count. But if you're walking around this seventy six. 54. Like, yes. you, you feel me? Like, high ass you. number. <laughs> I'm going to be like, you know what? I don't want to fuck with this nigga because I don't feel like he going to take me serious or he going to take anybody serious because all you want to do is fuck. I mean, uh, it doesn't change the point gonna, that men that have se- that can yeah, have sex with a lot of women are not, so, the, are not yeah. the same as a woman that has sex with a bunch of dudes. I'm going to be honest. Like, you, if worrying about something like a body count, 
that person might have grown to be the man or the woman that he or she is. You're if you let something as as trivial as a body count that could be way higher than average, you know, dictate who he is or she is as a person. It it just you could miss a big opportunity with somebody that's actually a good person just because they, you know that's because you don't care. <laughs> like you don't care. You said it. You don't care. I don't because I it give doesn't a fuck. matter. It, I, it listen, doesn't I don't matter. listen. If I don't know about your body count, I don't give a fuck. Like I said, I would love to be in a relationship how my parents was. My parents was together for 30 years. I never heard about nobody else or anything. If my dad ever cheated, I never knew about it. Wait, you so understand? can I yeah, can I ask you something? Like yeah. you said about loyalty, like you want somebody to be loyal, but you also don't care what's going on behind the no, scenes. No, it's not that I do not care. It's the you don't fact know. that yes, I don't want to know because I feel like majority of men cheat. So I feel like if I can't be I can't sit up here and just because like okay, I was in a relationship, right? Man, I thought my nigga was loyal as fuck. Like we was together all the fucking time. I would barely leave this nigga. And the whole time the nigga was cheating. That so that's not loyal. That's yeah, right by your that, definition. Yeah, like you get what I'm trying. Yeah, to you say? just don't want to know about it. I don't want to know yeah. about it. If you're going to, if you're, if I'm in a relationship with you and you want to cheat, be respectful enough to take that shit to the grave. Your bitches better never come to me. Better never write me. Better never none of that shit. None of that shit. None of that no, shit. None of that shit. Yeah. We're th that's assuming we live in an optimal world or whatever. But the kind of guy that you want. You don't really have that leverage. Anyway, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. be single, and I don't mind being okay. single. As long as you're okay, with, as shit. long as you're okay with that. Stop the uh, going so, back to what you were saying, as far as like um a body count being trivial. Here's the thing: a man's body count is trivial. A woman's body count is very relevant, though. And I know that might sound offensive or misogynistic, but, but it's true. Yeah. But no guy wants to commit to a girl that has a high body count. Period. Like that's that's not a that's not a it's not attractive to men. Not, as I, not, and I would argue that if you gave every guy the same option. What is one thing that you want in a girl's head when you walk up to her? They would probably say body count is going to be one of the top things. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Guys want to know. Because for most guys, it's kind of like, okay, you could be hot. You could be attractive. But if you're like considered as a hoe and I wife you up, no, I look crazy because I'm with a hoe. Versus if you're kind of to yourself, you're hot, you're kind of like in, ducked in a corner. It's like, okay. She's dope. She's low, low to that sense. I want her. And, and the best way that I can illustrate this is that a woman with a high body count, that's an automatic disqualifier to most men for any type of serious relationship. However, with a guy, if he has a high body count, woman's not going to necessarily disqualify him from a relationship. A man that can have sex with a lot of women brings value to the world to some degree. A woman that has sex with a lot of dudes loses value in the world. I don't want to hear that shit. That's just what how is, it is. That's oh, no. my... No, 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 listen, no, no, no. Okay, is, okay. That, that's, okay. <laughs> you don't want to hear it, but it doesn't matter. You're yeah. so attracted to it. What, what, what are you going to say? Someone has some. Yeah. What's when high? you say oh, when you say body count, like what's considered a what's considered a high number? Every guy has different tolerance yeah, levels. Two. Depends. Yeah. Right. Three. So, right. Typically, the higher status the man, the higher value the man, the less tolerance he has for a woman's promiscuity. And yeah. also, a guy with game can tell on some level your body count by your behaviors. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he, he might see a number. Is you know what? She's always in a club. Her phone's always, always on D and D. Blonde hair. She's always on Snapchat. Sending Wigs. pictures to oh. random people. Who said they, blonde hair? <laughs> I'm gonna pop you in your mouth. You already know. I'm just, let me take this wig off because he said my hair. You know what's crazy is like Yo, you, you talk a lot, nigga. <laughs> no. so, go ahead, go ahead, what's crazy man. is like most most high value men, you don't really see them with the most basic chicks, meaning like cuffing them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna cuff a chick that's like very easy to like smash. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, it's not like I disrespect her or whatever. Like I don't fucking look at her in like a but like it's just like I mean, if it was that easy to get you. I'm probably not gonna cuff you. If I mean, Joe Smoke down the block could, could smash you, I don't want you. What's that? Like, Who's Joe let's, Smoke? Let's let's say it was that random right? guy. A random guy <laughs> at a club could smash you. I don't want I'm you. I'm thinking that's a problem. Yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> like, percent. But yeah, I've never stupid. heard in my life I'm that so I, I've nobody. never heard in my life. I've never seen or anything a club in a club where there was one girl and fifty niggas. <laughs> like so, like <laughs> that kind of like tells you a lot that like guys like variety and just like going back to your point, man. It's just like. The higher value you are, I mean, like, I wouldn't necessarily call it cheating. I mean, like, exercise and options, baby. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> like you said, like, tell them. You know what I mean? If you're with a girl, be honest. Make sure you be, be honest friend. and stuff like that. But you guys cannot argue the fact that, like, dude, guys want variety. I mean, like, it's. it's you're never gonna. I'll, I'll say it that. much. Uh, he's saying it very politely. You're never gonna sexually satisfy your guy by yourself. <laughs> yeah. Period. Pretty much. Your vagina's not that great. It's not it's that wet and whapping whatever. <laughs> 
Men want variety. <laughs> they want girls of different colors, shapes, sizes, etc. You're never going to satisfy your guys sexually by yourself. Guys, we got 12k live viewers and we like need any likes. Oh, okay. Okay. We need more likes, bro. We got like how much likes, Chris? We got 4.8k likes. That's it. Stop, nah, the, fuck the, fuck Stop the show, bro. In here. Stop bro. the show, bro. Like the fucking video, bro. Because I'll tell you this: I'm losing my goddamn hair doing this show. You guys can see it. Oh, well, you Friday. guys are seeing the span. So well, like Friday, the fucking Friday, video. You get, you get some new, new hair, right? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a hair transplant. Uh, it's gonna be lit. There you lit. go. Yeah, what, it's gonna be my real hair. Wait, you can afro? No, afro. I might grow an afro. Waves, after. maybe. Waves. Who knows? No, but I'm not black, so I'll probably I'm just gonna grow my hair long. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Like, Jesus, I'm not black. Got you. Uh, uh, um, some chats here too as well. Okay, I could I could read some of the chats real fast. Um, King but, Luffy. Wait, hold on a second. Luffy. Oh, Joey Joey Crack goes. Yo, Salim Dallas. No, read that one. Yeah. Um, let's, see. let's see here. Uh, 200 bucks from Ronan Style. Thank you so much, bro. What's up, FNF gang? Thank you, Myron and Fresh. I've started a month ago following the RP, and I can confidently say that I hold frame with my wife. She can't get enough of me. I'm 35 pounds down, working on my money and keeping to it. BBC gang, we out here. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, I got oh. you, my friend. Yeah, bro. That's Shut what it's about. Bro. Being fat is unacceptable. Sparta! <laughs> What is your profession? Oh, oh, oh. You can't be fat, my friend. Nope. Man, you need to please your girl. Oh, I, okay. It's for Omni Roma. Uh, men, you need to please your girl until submission. Please, please them, and they won't leave you. Yeah, that's what. That's for the girls that matter. Chris, you go. You going too hard with the horn back there, bro? Hey, man. Hey, <laughs> chat, man. <laughs> Scott Aragon, shout out FNF uh, fam. Haven't been. On here for a minute, started a new business last month and have been training five to six days a week, consistently keeping the message going, guys. Good stuff, my friend. Uh, masculine acting women have ruined my view on how they all act from when I was in primary school. Now it's unnecessarily hard hurdle to get over even now. It's like ingrained into my brain, Myron. Did you struggle with feeling like you weren't taken seriously growing up? That's a whole other conversation, my friend. <laughs> yes. That's a whole other conversation. You, you pri primary school? Funny. Times have times have changed, bro. I would argue in today's day and age. You take a regular girl, she's not going to respect a regular guy. You have to be way better off than she is for her to respect you. And even then, she's going to be on some bullshit. Uh, yeah, these me. women take make money today and broke tomorrow single. Black women lead all women in poverty, least in assets and net worth, even past 40 years old. The whole we get in the bag talk is cap. When they do lead in debt, you can look this up. Oh, yeah, me no face talks. God damn. Nigga. Uh, and then last one here. Great work, Fresh and Fit team. Love the show. Check out the Nothing to Something podcast channel to see our... Do we know these guys? Uh, No. Okay. The Nothing to Something podcast channel no, to see no, our no. panel with ladies tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Uh, Self-plug. Yeah, self-plug. Right. Um, We got you, bro. It's fine. There you go. Yeah, go check them out, guys. Uh, Lacey Bain. All right. Yeah. So, Salim, yes, I'm going to let you take this frontier and then the ladies. <clears throat> Anything you want to ask them, dating-wise, you also want to know about women? Um, maybe why they cheat, why they ghost guys, like anything you want to know. Uh, I'm very curious to ask that. Why do you guys say that? Uh, like, why do you guys have like loyalty as like, like when you guys say loyalty? I'm guessing that you guys are saying like don't have sex with other women, right? Am it's I correct? deeper than that, too. Huh? It's deeper than that, too. Okay, well, what it is is like don't have sex with other women, it's right? It's also respect, too. Okay, respect. Mm -hmm. okay why is that such a like it seems as if like a lot of women are saying like i do not want my man to cheat like why why is that like mm. no you want, like do you not the politically cheat? correct do you want answer your girl to cheat? huh do you want your girl to cheat fuck no exactly. but, like, everyone wants to share their other yeah so you know, what's the difference to share their significant other <laughs> yeah but for the guy that you guys are asking for or wanting <laughs> I mean, I'm not walking around saying like i want a fucking high value woman i mean like i don't think a lot of guys are really asking that but 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 from a guy stand like from a woman's standpoint like why is a a high value man like to you guys like why can't he like exercise options okay so there's like a whole bunch of women in the world right mm -hmm. and let's say you're my man and you cheat on me you make me feel like less of a woman because you're with me you chose me for a specific reason mm -hmm. so if you go and you go get with another female there's something that that woman is bringing to the table that I'm not, so it makes me feel like less of a woman. Well, what if what she's bringing is literally the same thing that you're bringing? So then, why are you sleeping with her if, if we're bringing the same thing? Well, I mean, like like they said, I mean, what if it's like something? I mean, Myron said it multiple times. I mean, like for guys to cheat, most of the time it's kind of like just physical. You know what I mean? So like, her answer just proved my point. As yeah. so, women understand deep down that their sexuality is their primary fucking agency. That's why she has such a point of contention with you having sex with other girls. 
I don't think that. Yeah, you think your your nut comes first. <laughs> I, 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 said, I said that a man's nut comes first. And, and notice, right? Oh, yeah, she did say man. You mm-hmm. said well, you, how it makes you feel. What about the guy? Okay, if you're in a relationship, if we get into a relationship and we make it known from the start that it's a monogamous relationship, why are you cheating? Oh, that's, that's different, that's though. Different. I'm saying, like, for guys that are like, yo, I want to exercise options oh if it, you tell me and you go and you do it go do it i'd rather you be honest with me i'm gonna i might feel a type of way but it's gonna make me feel like more confident in you and our relationship for the specific fact that you told me like yo i want to go fuck other bitches and i'm letting you know that i'm gonna fuck other bitches yeah i might not like it but i like the fact that you're telling me instead of going and doing it behind my back really? okay really? Really? Right. okay for for the ladies yeah, that yeah, will not let that happen Shit. For a guy you that tells you straight up, answer. like, what's Let what's the issue know. there? If we are dating, right? If we're dating, a nigga would do whatever the fuck that, that he want because we're dating. But if you're my nigga, you better walk on fucking shells. Like, what? <laughs> what would you do to a guy? What would you do? What would you Don't do if a man cheated on you? I, you want to know what happened to the last person that played with my emotions? Tell us. Yeah, I got you, right? I'll pull his dress out and I'll beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> okay, they that's... Because it's my emotions, like... Don't play with my emotions. And I asked. So you threw the Before, toaster at him. That's what it was. Okay. Dress fake, I would not be No, his dress was <laughs> real. His dress was real. But you know how niggas get older. Like, you see how... Like, imagine him if he had dress. He lose the hair. It's going to be easy to pull it off. <laughs> what the... F- Wait, you fight with those girls, man? <laughs> nah. Now, I don't fight, but it's like my emotions. Like, you know how you react off of emotions? Definitely. I don't walk in the room so many times. And, and I'm like, yo, I ain't going to lie. Like, you acting kind of different. Like, is you, are you talking to somebody else? Because if you are, let me know. Then it's like, no, 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 I'm not talking to nobody else. You fucking with my head. You fucking with my emotions. Don't do that shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. You get away. You you feel me? Like, you get away with shit if you real. Like, okay, you know what? Listen, it's not working between us, and I want to see other people. We're going to go our separate ways. But if you playing with my emotions, bitch, you can't get mad how I react. So if ASAP Rocky wanted to me. date you. Emotional damage. Is ASAP Rocky attractive? I'm fucked up for real. Mm-hmm. Oh, we we know. Is ASAP <laughs> Rocky up, for real? I'm fucked He's up. He's asking you. Is is ASAP Rocky he, attractive? Yeah, he, yeah. He, okay, he, is Michael B. Jordan a good looking guy? Oh, he is cute. Okay, if he was like, yo, I want mm-hmm. to make you my main chick, but I want to fuck other chicks. I want to have Lori yeah, Harvey I'm not here going there. to do it. I don't care. You know how much niggas with money? That's cat, man. No, what, what, I swear to God. Listen, you know how much niggas with money be trying to talk to me and I turn them down. I think that's what they know. I think they're think... not understanding that because y'all not females. <laughs> There's I, I niggas. Listen, so listen. Much. Seriously. We're yes, I do want a successful white. person. I do want a nigga that make money, but I also want a nigga that's gonna respect me. Am I gonna be okay with a nigga just cheating on me? No. That's why I said do that shit behind my back where I would never fucking hear about it, know about it, or anything. I and think for y'all, you, I'm not understanding. No, that. I understand. Y'all really do like bro much. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, like, but because no, he, we, he, we get it. The thing about him is like he just feel like you know Merch. he must he he must know it all. You know he just feel how he feel. He think everybody lying. But if I'm really expressing myself <laughs> and I'm telling the truth, you feel me? The thing is, like <laughs> everybody's different. Like, like I, I, we view relationships different. She just says she don't give a fuck about no relationship. Bitch, I want, if I see you and I want to fuck you, I want to fuck you. You feel me? That's no, yeah. her view. That's her view on life and her view on dating. And she said she don't even want to date. I want her, 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 her vision on life right now is if I see you and I want to fuck you, I'm going to fuck you. We're going to move on. Yeah. That's her right now. Yeah. Right now. My vision is completely different from hers because I don't move like that. But I respect her for being real. Right. <laughs> So my shit is like, I want a real relationship and I want somebody that's going to respect me. You know, you're not going to get away with cheating on me. And no, you cannot buy me and buy me re- me re- materialistic shit because I could go and buy it myself. I'm yeah, not that girl here, that you're just going to know. You're, you're missing the big elephant in the room, which is you the man sneak. that you're looking for. You can't demand shit from him because the thing <laughs> is, is that he can replace you. And that's fine. You can replace him. That's all we're saying. And that's fine. That's why I'm single. Like you're playing a skewed game <laughs> that's right now. That's why I'm single. Okay. We know. That's she why knows. I, we know. Yeah. We, we see that. I understand that. But, but She's aware. Okay. So she, all right. Yeah, so she I'm understands very, it. I'm very aware. So here's my real very question aware. then. Are you willing to change? <laughs> I will change for the right person. Just like the <laughs> okay, right person will there change. We go. Listen, I was very, very I was, listen, I was very gullible. Still? You know? Okay. No, not still. I was very like, when I say I was Chris for the last, said that. Chris put the camera yeah, on you and you say last, think about it. for the last eleven years of my life, I've been in two different relationships, one for five years, once one for six years, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. And those two relationships turn me into the person I am now. Cause I used to be very submissive, very forgiving, very this and very that. And it don't work for me. So now I'm like, bitch, what are you trying to get the fuck out? 
I don't care anymore. And okay. that's me, that's me going through my experiences. So since in life. you don't care, why should a man care? What you mean? Why should he care? Well, if I'm making here's the thing about high net worth individuals. If I'm making that kind of money and I got a lot to lose, why am I gonna put myself with an emotionally erratic individual that could fuck my life up nah. in two seconds because of their something. feelings? Let me say something. Hold on, answer the question. Why should nine they do time that? At a time, nine times out of ten, a nigga probably went through that shit too. That's why they out here fucking bitches, right? They what? get hurt. Niggas get hurt. <laughs> niggas get hurt. Hey, now think know. about it. <laughs> Some niggas like, okay, listen. For example, right? I have people like niggas in my family, they come out and they be very, very fucking faithful. Let's just say the the girl, the female, she go and she cheats and she break his heart. Now he become a whole. You become the certain hurt person people, because hurt of the hurt shit that happened in your life. I'm a hurt individual. Now the difference is, is that he's not gonna punch you in the face because he's mad. You literally attacked you the know, guy earlier. Hey, niggas be beating the fuck out of bitches every other yeah, day. Yeah, but but in your situation, right? Niggas, I don't see niggas on, beat that, the fuck okay. out of bitches. Yeah, that happens. But you just admitted, like, yo, I beat the fuck out of my guy, blah, blah, blah. Because the I asked you multiple is, times. Is, okay, that's that's fine. I'm not we're not I asked arguing you multiple the times. The point is I came in the is house and I asked you. The point is that you attacked him <laughs> if it was the other I way around it. men would go to jail for doing that that's what i'm trying to say so why should it you, you do realize that when a guy deals with you and, i feel like listen yeah, 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 yeah. hold on go you, ahead you need baby. to listen for two seconds go ahead the world is it's, different for men and women okay uh -huh. you literally just admitted to beating the crap out of your guy and nothing happened to you yeah if it was the other way around He's going to go to jail. So what he I'm saying... He hit me back. Yeah, stop. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You hit him first. Whoa. He hit me back. Okay, okay. Did he go to jail? He didn't. He didn't go to jail. Because we didn't get the police involved. Okay. Well, here's my point, though. If a man makes that kind of money, $480,000 to be exact, right? Makes that kind of money. He has a lot to lose. Why is he going to partner up with a girl that is prone to violence, emotionally erratic, unstable, that can get mad and beat the shit out of him at any other time, and he can lose everything that he got? Because here's the reality. When met, when the police are called and the cops show up, someone has to get arrested. And 80% of the time, the guy's going to get arrested. So why would a man take all this risk okay. to fuck with you? When you have In all that to lose. In six years, I beat his ass two times. In six years. <laughs> so that means that's hella patience. You got to think about it. That doesn't make it right. Yes, it is. That doesn't make it right. Let me speak. Can I speak? Go ahead. Can I speak? Go ahead, love. Because this is the thing, right? I'm very, very outspoken. You know, like, however I feel, I'm going to say exactly how I feel. If I come in the house and I ask you multiple times, like, okay, you don't want to talk to me no more? Like, let me know right now. I'll take my shit and I'll leave. Like, we don't have to leave on bad terms. And you lie about it? And you lie about it for months? You're going to hit him. <laughs> you don't like emotions. <laughs> but it's like, because I warned you. Answer the Why are you lying? Yeah. I asked you a very simple question. Okay, what's your question? Go ahead. Do you remember it? No, I don't. <laughs> exactly. That's the you're because you're not listening. You're just talking. I said if a man has all this to lose, why is he gonna fuck with you? Don't fuck with me then. Okay. Because you have an option. Answer don't fuck right with there. me. There yeah. you go. There's don't the answer. Don't fuck with me. So, all right. Like, That's the answer. I, but all that shit could be avoided because I would ask you just be real. Okay. You know what I mean? Let's let's get someone else. To you really get punched. Okay. Go ahead. So like for me, I believe that if you're an adult, crazy. people are adults then they should be able to talk amongst each other without it getting violent. Exactly. You know, because, because you know, me personally, I believe in equal rights and equal lives. If I, w I feel like that's why I'm not a man right now, because if I was, if a woman put it, called herself putting her hands on me, thinking that it didn't hurt because she's a woman, she, she getting her ass handed to her, mm. you know, but, but that's just me. I, I make it a point. I don't give a damn how mad I get not going to put my hands on somebody unless, you know what I'm saying, unless I know I can roll with them. That's that's number one. And even though, even if I can't, it never should have to get to that point. Right. You know, but personally, if a woman hits a man, he should be able to defend himself because you don't know what that man, you don't know. I don't know. What that I didn't say that he shouldn't. I said the nigga hit me back. You I feel know, me? I, yeah. But this is the thing that y'all missing. I don't spoke to the nigga multiple times. <laughs> I don't came to you multiple times. I don't question you multiple times. That's like a guy saying the you exact same thing and doing the exact same thing that you Okay, did. that's why when y'all in a relationship, y'all need to be upfront and real with a person. If you don't. do not want to fuck with a person no more, you let them know. Okay, you know what? This is not working for me. I want to be outside. So leave. I mean, leave. They, they just want yeah. to fuck with no, you leave. Anyway, let's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you okay, leave. let's get back to the question before we... The, um, the, his, his question is simply... Why is loyalty so big on the totem pole? Why so high on the totem pole for you as a woman when the guy is, you know, a somebody? 
because uh, a lot of you guys mentioned loyalty earlier. So we gave her, we got her answer. What about you? Um, I say for the same reason why men want loyalty in a woman. I mean, but if we're talking just dating, not in a relationship, then I don't expect any loyalty from you. Do you? I'd argue loyalty from a woman is required. Loyalty from a man is elective. Yo, Amber Hood. <laughs> yeah, that's the funniest thing I've seen all night. <laughs> well, she yeah, ain't victimized. Look, she ain't victimizing herself about it. Yeah. You know, that, that's but, one thing. You know, she, ain't, she didn't know about it. Amber Turd. Oh, <laughs> let me specify. It, it's just, it's very, it's, it's interesting because like a lot of women do say loyalty as like a number one requirement. So that's why I asked the question because... I understand you're probably gonna give me the answer like okay then if i if he cheats like why can't i do that right that's probably what you're thinking as well no if he cheats then i leave i'm not thinking no, why no, no, can't but, i do but, that but but with what myron says like with high value men like they're okay with like it's okay for them to exercise options in a way when they tell you straight up right right okay that's what you're saying that's what i'm trying to say is like why is that such a requirement for women when they are trying to get the highest of value man you know what I'm trying to say? So then why can't a man see that from his, for himself as well? Okay, so say, for instance, uh, a high-value man takes a girl from McDonald's, right? You guys like to use this a lot. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> but um, takes a woman from McDonald's she and wipes her up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And he's a high-value man, makes, what, 500K plus a year or whatever, right? Say he cheats on her. Is it okay? I mean, it's not It's not even cheating. It's just, like, it's, it's exercising options. Like, I mean... It, but what like, does it matter whether he has money or not? You keep saying have high value man, man making five hundred dollars a year. Why five hundred thousand dollars? Five hundred thousand dollars a year. But that, why does that matter whether he makes five hundred thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars? Well, there's only other components. Yeah, just financial. There's other components as well. It's, not, it's not just well. financial. It's the fact that like, and look. Let so me then, be why isn't it women exercising their options as well? All right, Why you guys want the candy yeah, store that, analogy? That, yeah. You guys want the candy oh, store it's analogy? Back, it's back. You guys it, want the candy me, store analogy so I can back. explain this to her why why we're not the same? Let's do it. It's been a while. Okay, I think the chat wants it. All right, so ladies, we're going to go into a dream world to, so that I can explain this so it makes sense. Take it's, it's, I, I, I know shop. some of you guys are like, yo, why the fuck can you do that shit and I can't, etc. This double standard is fucked up. So, <laughs> yo, chat, chill. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll do the analogy. Sugar rush. Um, you seem a little angry. Are you are you mad about something? Not at all. Okay. All right. So <laughs> I'm doing this analogy for you. So I want you to please pay attention, ladies. So imagine that there's a candy store. Okay. And in the candy store, you know, the women are allowed at 18 years old. You're allowed to come into the candy store. All right. And after some time in there, you start to figure out what kind of candy you like and what you don't like. You figure out that Tootsie Rolls are disgusting. You figure out that gummy bears are delicious. And you figure out that the yellow flavor in Starburst is strange. And I don't know why it still exists. But regardless... <laughs> You figure out what kind of candy you like and what kind of candy you don't like. And you've been in there for a few years. The men, however, are not allowed into the candy store until they're 35 years old, have saved up $100,000 in the bank, and they've been to the gym for five to, five, five to 10 years consecutively, consistently. Okay? And there's clearly a line growing outside that fucking candy store. Okay? Because the guys are piling up and they're waiting to get in. So you're 18. Seven years, what, 15 years later, whatever maybe my math is off, but eventually some of these guys are led into the candy store. They go fucking crazy. They go into this candy store. They're running around, swinging on the fucking rafters, eating all the Tootsie Rolls that you didn't want to eat 10 years ago. They're going nuts. And then on top of that, the guys that didn't get allowed in the candy store are outside of the candy store cheering in the glass. Yeah, fuck yeah. Eat that Tootsie Roll. Okay. Going wild, right? Cheering those fucking guys on. But only like 10 or 15 guys got allowed into the candy store. And you guys have been there for, what, 15, 17, 18 years, whatever it may be. And you're like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Like, have y'all never seen candy before? And the reality is this. How the fuck are you going to tell him how many pieces of candy he can eat when you were allowed into the candy store for free, but he had to bust his ass to get into that candy store? That's the difference. You can't tell a man how much candy he can eat when he had to get to a certain point to even be able to allow to get into the candy store while other guys can't when you were allowed in for free. You have free admission. You can't tell him how to move when it comes to how much candy he wants. That's why when a man has sex with other women, it's not the same as when a woman has sex with other men. 
Having sex with a lot of women as a man is extremely difficult. It shows that you have value to the world. When a woman has sex with a lot of dudes, she loses value to the world because you guys are allowed into the candy store simply for existing and being of age. We're not the same. We don't play by the same set of rules at all. And this whole double standard that women want to cry and complain about, hey, there's a bunch of double standards that women benefit from. I'll never get in a section with Future and Drake. <laughs> I'll never get invited to a fucking mansion party unless I become street. a musician or someone huge. I'm never going to get money for feet pictures or a, uh, or, or a sugar try. mama I that's going to pay me yeah. simply for existing. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm never going to get the same benefits that women get, okay? There's double standards that benefit both genders. And I would argue there's more double standards that benefit women than that benefit men because women are able to enjoy all the same rights and privileges that men do while simultaneously enjoying the benefits of being a woman and getting the privileges that exist from traditional times. So for women to get mad about simple something simply as like sexual discretion, that's kind of in your control. And if you ended up eating too much candy in the candy store, that's your fucking fault. It's not, you can't tell me how much candy I want to eat. Makes sense? Yeah. Makes I know sense. you guys might not like that, but that's the truth. That's how the world works. Men care about how much candy you ate. Yeah. And I'm not, I mean, for me, I'm not saying, I mean, for me, I mean, if I'm in a relationship, I'm not going to cheat. I'm, I'm actually really not. Like, that's just who I am. But I do understand. <laughs> I, I just don't. I don't know why. I just, I just, I just what a don't. Hat what a hat. <laughs> <laughs> like, Give me the hat. I'll show all of them. Right it's okay, you have God. one on already. Why? Like, uh, <laughs> 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 you see how he do me right? Y'all see how he do me right? I mean, some men are exceptions to the rules. Some men actually. And I understand exactly where Myron is coming from. Like, I totally understand it. Like, I mean, there's some men out there that are high value that don't want to cheat, and there are a lot of men that are going to cheat. It just is what it is, yeah. and I think that, I yeah, like I just think women can't get it in their head. Like, dude, that's just how men it operate. Comes, yeah. It comes back to the discussion earlier yeah. when we walked around and asked the girls, "What do you rate yourself?" A lot of the girls rated themselves, "I'm a ten or blah blah blah. Yeah. And I think a lot of it comes from female hubris because think about it, bro. If you got DMs and invites to hang out with celebs and all this other stuff. You your would ego. probably think you're the shit too. Your ego yeah. would be crazy. And this isn't to make fun of y'all. It's just that we live in an unprecedented time where women get more attention now than ever before. You know? Like, yeah, if, not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not going to tell Fresh, yo, you should create yourself a 10. Yo, that's so true. I though. think if women manage expectations the right way, as in, like, okay, this whole niggas are, I'm going to move accordingly, you won't be hurt because what happens is girls will be like, oh, he's uh, this, this type of guy. He's going to be faithful. And you find out he's not, now you're butthurt because he's not what you thought he was going to be. Mm -hmm. But certain guys on certain levels, they're going to do what they do. So it's kind of like... So how about if a female do it? Oh, goes back to what I said before. Yeah. You disqualify yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you lose. We, we don't really lose. You know, I, I feel like... Merch. Lose how? Merch. Huh? Lose I how? feel like my... Merch. Because we're going to leave. <laughs> I, I mean, so there is not... Well, you know what? You are I mean, right about sure. that. Because yeah. women do think of... they When they think of cheating, oh, yeah. it's not a physical thing. That it's emotional. It's, it's emotional. an emotional thing. And men... You know, like waffle. Y'all ever heard of the waffles to um um spaghetti analogy? Mm -mm. Well, okay, so like waffles, men. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm gonna say masculine versus feminine because even women can have these traits and vice versa, right? So with the waffle analogy, right? Um, you pour syrup and onto a waffle. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and there's you know Creators. sections, right? Men or masculine people that think masculine usually um. The, the the compartments is soaked up at one time like there's there's sections everything is sectioned off meaning that they think about one thing at once like like one thing at a time mm -hmm. while women the spaghetti analogy or feminine they um when you pour spaghetti it's like they're <laughs> thinking about a million shit at one time you know what i'm saying mm. like that is and that's the that's the, oh. yeah that's the so i think the better way to articulate it is that men are deductive problem solvers we see an issue we find a way to fix it which one is why men are overwhelmingly the inventors versus women are ruled by their emotions and so many things come in at at the same time it's very Masculine difficult for them to be decisive for Masculine yeah. versus feminine because yeah. Yeah. just because you're a man doesn't mean that you think like one. I mean, you know, I would have put Sarah on one. No, I, I'm like, that's just always going to apply to gender roles. So like men are always going to be the masculine. Men are always going to be the the money makers. They're Seems the other way around be, now. They're supposed to. <laughs> They're supposed to be. But... Correct. But and as far as as far as this whole like discussion has gone, y'all are still on that tip where men 
are the money makers. Men let you move in. Men do all the hard work around the house, whatever, oh when they just expect you to make a fucking sandwich. Oh like, <laughs> okay, you know, like, or give you like sex or whatever. But I don't know. Like, to me, that's, that's the point. Like, you guys are always going to think this way. Women are always going to be the more emotional, like, um, obviously we're, we're just more emotional. We think about things way deeper. We overanalyze, we overthink, um, men are more simple creatures. Women are more complex. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's just the way the fucking cookie crumbles. Like, that's just the way shit goes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, it just, yeah. I mean, men and women are very different, which is why I always laugh when women try to say we're equal. Like no. when you said earlier, well, why can't I do this? Well, we're not the same. There's I'm double standards be a, that benefit I'm going to leave today being a nigga. I'm going to go find me a bitch. All right. <laughs> I mean, uh... And it's funny because I'm like, I, I don't think I need a man, problems, but I do have up. shit at home that I would love to be put into a fucking wall that I can't do myself. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> like mm -hmm. you know, like there's shit like men are needed for certain shit. Women are needed for other shit. So, I would argue unless a woman realizes in her head and feels as though she needs a man, she's not going to take the prerequisite steps required to actually keep a guy around. The problem is that too many girls say they want a man instead of needing a man. That's the truth. When you go in thinking, I want a man, well, you're going to do some bullshit saying make your own sandwich or, hey, I could bring my own money. I am the table, nigga, all this other stupidity that modern day women say. But the reality is if you need a man, you're going to move correctly to be able to retain that guy because, ladies, your game is. Can you retain the guy after you fuck him? It's not about attaining the guy. It's about can you retain the guy? And most girls, I would argue, can't, which is why we have such a high single rate right now. So my thing is this. You don't go to the gym saying, I want to get in shape. You're going to stay fat if you go with that mindset. You need to go in there saying, I need to get in shape because I'm probably going to die of, uh, you know, being a fat ass or whatever it may be. When you need to do something, you're going to eat correctly. You're going to go to the gym consistently. You're going to drink water. You're going to sleep eight to 10 hours a night, et cetera. You need to move on. I need it. When you need it, then you're going to move correctly and actually be attractive to that man and do everything in your power to retain him. Because, ladies, it's not a uh, like a flex to say, I got a bunch of dudes in my DMs or I got rich niggas that want to spend money on me. That doesn't mean shit. Can you keep a guy after you fuck him? Can you get a last name and can you get a ring? And I would argue most modern women can't because they think, well, he's got to impress me. He's got to do this. Well, that'll work to get sex. But if you can't keep him, you take the L. And my thing is this. Feminism, all it's done, you know who's given the power to? <laughs> Men. Then, I'm not a feminist. A small minority of men. I think she knows. So what, what feminism has done is it inadvertently given all the leverage to the top 10% of guys. Because those guys are going to go ahead and take these empowered money, women that make 200K a year or 100K a year or women that make 50K a year that think I don't need no fucking man. They're going to continuously fuck them and then move on to the next chick. Because if true. a guy has the ability to have sex with a bunch of chicks, he's not going to settle. Trust me, most mm. of the time. Or he'll have a main chick and then fuck a bunch of other girls. So my thing is, man... Ladies need to move with a need versus a want mm. for a man. I've actually been proposed to three times in my life. It's irrelevant because you didn't like them. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't it's think not that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It's, it's, a, it's oh relevant because on, you no. thought you said that I, men, women these days can't get married and shit. Like, it is irrelevant because I didn't want them. It's not that I didn't like them. Yeah, so th that I doesn't mean anything. Like, any girl can get pro Like, I love when girls say that. I got proposed to. That's like me saying, like, three yo, uh, yo, man, I am. Um, congratulations. You got proposed to three times by men that you didn't like. But Thank that's you. like no, me. No, I liked them. I, no, I liked them. No, it was just bad timing, you know? I don't know about no, that. No, you didn't like person, them. Bad timing. I was, I was young. Who the hell wants to be married at... 23, 22. So, let me ask you that's now. the best time to get married. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Hold on. So now, to now, now, looking back, according to bio, hold on, according to biology, <laughs> yeah, at 23 years old, you are literally at your peak attractiveness. As you get older, your negotiating power to get the highest value man comes down precipitously. You're so not you going to have, have the same fun. level of leverage at 30 years old as you will at 20 years old. Period. So you're probably just going to be, you know, with the same person. You're not going to have no life experience. You're not going to be able to see the world. You don't know nothing outside of this person. As you're being 23 year old and married, like you're just not going to have any life experience. Well, women women value different things than men do. Women tend to be more based around people. Men tend to be more based around things. So if you're able to build a family with a man and children, that's probably going to bring you more long term happiness versus running around and fucking a bunch of guys and living your life. And we know this because we brought women on that are in their 30s that wish that they had to settle down when Facts. they were younger and can get a better guy. Because as you get older, your ability to lock down a certain type of guy come, but I drops know, down. I also know a lot of a lot of people that's been in relationships with their high school sweetheart and wish that they went and fucked other people, you know, and wish that they lived their life. Like, uh, like you know, but everybody is, is, is that you? Now. Is that me? Mm -hmm. Do I wish I lived my life? 
Well, no, I, I'm living in now. <laughs> and then the question is, those guys that you said no to, mm -hmm. would you go back and marry them now? No. Oh, okay. Huh. I'm so still then... young. Maybe, you know, if, if, if they still love for it, if, you, if one of them is still up for it, by the time I'm... Don't now, do you it, know what I ain't about to do that. Don't, don't do I don't it. want to get married. Don't do it. Don't, so, okay. yeah, there you go. And, and that's that's great. That might be for you. But yeah. I would argue most women do want some kind of commitment yeah. from a man of value at some point in their life. And my thing is get a guy when you have the most negotiating power. Because as you get older, I hate to say it, your value drops as a woman. And it sounds horrible to say it like that. But from <laughs> a strictly sexual standpoint of you attracting a man as you get older and make more money you actually decrease your chances of finding a guy and the same goes for a man Hell incorrect no 100 no. incorrect as a man it makes more money and gets older he actually becomes more attractive because the traits it takes to become attractive as a man take time to acquire confidence ambition income etc experience that takes time a man that's 35 is not the same as a woman that's 35 at all there's like the so many sugar store, daddies yeah. man yeah like <laughs> that, that's as, yeah. as a, a, men age like wine, women typically age like milk. Now, can you push the clock back a little bit as a woman? You go to the gym, you take care of yourself, do some Kegels, whatever. Yeah, for sure. But you're never going to be able to compete with your 21-year-old self when you're 31, bro. Period. Because, and, and the other thing, too, from a biological perspective, most of your eggs are gone by the time you're 35. Fuck them it's considered eggs. a high-risk pregnancy. Fuck them and eggs. by the time you're 30, like 80% of your eggs plus are gone. So if a man wants to have a family, you can't even give him children. They could take them. You're virtually useless from a biological standpoint. Oh, man. I mean, that's the no truth. Kids. Don't want no kids. That is the truth. That. That's, a, that's facts. From a bio, <laughs> if I want to have a family one. and I'm marrying a chick that's 35 years old, she, there's a there's a higher than 90% chance that I will not be able to have children with her. I know, that baby is I know a couple, out. right? I know a couple that were deeply in love. You know, he loved her. She loved him. And they were, he, she was 35 and he was like 42. And what happened was he was doing, trying to have kids for like years. And he just said to her one day, he's like, yo, you know what? I love you, but I want kids and you can't give, you, you can't give that to me. And he left. And I was sad because like, they really loved each other. And that's the biggest that gift happens. that you could, that's the biggest honor that you could bestow upon a man is children and a family. Yeah. And if you're in your thirties, you can't do that. A lot of the time. Now, yeah. are there women who are capable? For, for sure. Don't get me, don't get it twisted. You it can, happen. but the chances go down. It's high risk though. Yeah. Do you have anything so. to say to that? You seem really mad. I'm not mad. I just don't understand why you think men are better than women that's to me that's what it sounds Wait, like they say that? no no to me that's what it sounds like you think that men are better than women that's wow just no women. no I, I didn't hear that one time no, though not me either okay. Oh, uh, what, what, what may, at what point did I ever say men are better than women? I mean, just the way you're speaking you do think that men are better than women but how how, how did I say that? I don't have anything to say the problem is that you're interpreting what I'm saying through your feelings versus logic okay. bro I simply said that women don't have the same biological time clock that men do. That does not okay. mean that one gender is better than the other. Okay. You're in your feelings right now. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she's super yep, in her feelings. I'm she's in my tight. Feelings. Key, I'm key. Tight. Yeah, you're tight. You, you tight are, bro. Like, <laughs> shout out to T Grizzly. You my feelings. Oh, man. Right. We got some more chats here. How, how, do you, how do you extrapolate you, you think men are better than women off of me stating biological facts? Next topic. But I feel like no, no, no. We're there, we don't need to move the topic. How can you extrapolate that from what I just next said? Next topic. No, 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 no. We're not going to know the next topic. How did you come to that conclusion? Next topic. How did you come to that conclusion? Next topic. Whose show do you think you are on? My show. Get the fuck off the show, bro. Get the fuck out of here. You're not going to disrespect the platform Stupid. like that. Okay. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh the there you the go. Platform. Frank Castle. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> oh. And you knocked the mic over. She's fucking tight. Yep. She's like, um, boom. Triggered. Oh, yeah, she's boom. triggered as fuck. I would be too. <laughs> <laughs> she, I, I'm gonna make sure she don't uh, fuck up my shit. Yeah, you are Oh, I do my hair wet. All right, nigga, wear your stuff. Hey, chill. Call us fuck. I'm petty. He's not. So just grab your shoes. Yeah, that was sick <laughs> watching one on live. Look, <laughs> this shit is going on way too long though. Like y'all got me tired. What time is it? I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm, I'm hungry. hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm tired. Like. Facts. I'm like, I can't even think anymore. <laughs> Yo, Tyler. So, Salim, do you want to end up in a monogamous relationship? I was in a relationship. Um, I did something very bad, actually. I cheated. But I, I didn't actually. Do you regret cheating? I thought he said earlier that he wasn't a cheater. No, he said if he's in a relationship, he's, he's not going to cheat. He's not going to cheat. I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat. I like, uh, 
I, she seen, she seen like a video of me dancing on a chick, and then there was other things. That wasn't you. And hello, this is Big, this is Big Mode. Um, everyone has their phones in here. Can we Just a quick back? phone check, make sure it's not taken. Yeah, my phone is here. I like Mo. Just to check that it's there. So cool. Yeah, Mo's cool. Yeah, mine's there. Thank you. Nah, but I ain't gonna lie, like they do put like y'all put niggas on a whole different pedestal, like no. Yeah, like, y'all I mean y'all really the days, degrading us women and treating us as one. Us, yeah. And y'all degrading us like a motherfucker, like treating us as well, one no. fucking For, slut on the show. Well, yeah, well, like one this big ass feel. slut on the show. Y'all came up with an this idea of how women are and how women are. Y'all stick it to it. I'm gonna give it to y'all. I'm gonna give it to y'all. You agree with us too. The men on this show and a lot of the men. I mean, I've yeah. actually never you can't watched this, but with guys, show. the way you it can't. seems is it's like a constant idea. Yeah, to it's keep a, coming, a, coming, coming back. Brain. Yeah, bro. I'm like, Honestly, all right. That's what I said. I'm tired. I'm mentally that's exhausted. What I said, you know, this is my show. Now. Well, the thing is, the thing is, <laughs> they left, so the thing is for me. Uh, he has actually. Really, I'm asking the question. If you want me to be really honest, like I. He has actually like. He didn't agree with everything that they were talking about. No, because nah. they mind is set like, it's yeah, set. niggas is, is set. this, is y'all got to Who cares? Because no, guess is, what? This is not like mar the, uh, modern days. Like, we are like, girl, the thing, don't get the thing is, this. The, the 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 like traditional and all this shit. Like, everything, time has changed. Like, we bring we bring the same shit y'all bring to the table. The thing is, it's but like, our shit don't matter. Why our okay. shit don't matter? Y'all shit don't matter either. No, it's it's just that. Because then it, I think, I think that you think that. All men are like this, but Myron's no. specifically saying He's like most about... men are like this. I, I think you guys are getting it twisted that you think that, like that's why you guys said, all, why do yeah. you, why do y'all like y'all, y'all yeah, no, act like like everyone, like you know what I mean, like. But that's it's, how it's, no, no, okay, y'all. I'm talking what? about like the, I guess the the shows like you oh, know, you main. No, okay. And female money is shit, cause guess what? Nine times out of ten, oh, niggas shit. don't want, do nice. not want to talk to females that got more money than them. I mean, it's not that. I think that I think most men just don't. I think it men like to be like the powerhouse. It end up. It's not okay. We are back, but it eventually does. Sorry, they don't like that. I had to take over because y'all, you know, y'all left the viewers hanging. It's it's all good. They they understand what it is. Okay, so we're gonna start wrapping this up. We're gonna do last thoughts on the show after these super chats. But uh, yeah, man, she was she was hurt, man. She was triggered, to say the least. Yeah, that was so crazy watching right now. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that was okay, we got uh, Von Girl, B, right? Yeah, don't open the back door, no. we, we got Von B. Check the Fifty bucks. Okay. Uh, loyalty from a high value man. It's only a requirement for them because they want to be publicly known as the only chick that can keep a high value man loyal to them. It's just for social boost and being higher status than other chicks. Hmm. We got Maverick S. 500 uh, PHP. Women don't understand that, that high value men are 3% of the male population, but beautiful, sexy women, 50% plus of female population. Therefore, 50% of women are sharing 3% of high value men. Okay, All right. I think we're good to go. Cool. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you know, I, fucking ridiculous. You say pull, I pulled up my phone? I, and like, I gave her a chance. Like, I was like, what? I was like, like yo, well, t tell us why. And like, th and here's the thing you guys want to know why I kept pushing that? Mm. I'm going to tell y'all why right now. Because what she just said, that's all of our fucking critics on this show. I state biological fact. This is what it is. And the fucking dumbass conclusion all these girls come to, not all, but most like her. Why do you think that men are better than women? You stupid ass bitch. Nobody said that. All I simply said is men and women are different. Our biological time clocks are different. That does not infer that one gender is better than the other. But these fucking retards. And the thing that scares me is that, isn't she a college grad? Does she have like a education? Apparently. And she's in a relationship, yet she still came to that no. dumbass pinky brain con conclusion that, yo, uh, you just said that men are better than women. I never said that at all. Men are better at certain things. Women are better at certain things. We're different. That does not mean that one gender is better than the other. We have never our said that. Oh, She was just a dentist. She was in her feelings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, uh, yes, there, there we go. Uh, dental hygienist. <laughs> But um, but guys, that, that is literally what our critics always say. They come to that dumbass conclusion that I think that men are better than women. No, we're just better at certain things. I just thought that she wasn't mad, though. No, she was tight, bro. Yeah. I could tell the whole time. Because she kept staring at the screen when Chris told them, don't stare at the screen. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, how, that's how I knew. But right, um, Corey Preston? Uh, make it a call in station. <laughs> what? what is like that? A call like, they want you to call, call in. Station, like, right. like, they want to be able to talk like to advice. Us. Oh. That's on Fridays, guys. 
We have a call-in show on Fridays. Oh, I got to come on a Friday then. Oh, man. Oh, you want that? Perfect. <laughs> They're going to talk shit. You don't want that. All right, we got another, um, another one, Chris, or no? Yeah, okay. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. I actually uh, have a question. He <laughs> make bakes 50 you, you bucks? Some? I have a question. Yeah, go ahead, bro. If your significant other doesn't post you on social media, ladies, would that affect you? Like, would you feel like you're not in a real relationship? No. Nah. Nothing about social media is real, period. Interesting. Well, really not all question. things, I should say. Not all things. I got one question real quick, too. Uh, how many of you girls actually know your body count? Like, not that you don't have to say the number, but can you, like, raise your hand if you actually know your actual body count? Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Okay. <laughs> All right, we, we, um, we'll do last thoughts. Uh, first, first and favorite part of the show, guys. Um, I cool. mean, we can keep going if y'all want. No, we good. Oh, uh, beforehand. <laughs> hey, I'm, I read the room, no. man. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can tell people the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I read yeah, the room, yeah. That's cool. It's cool. And they got, and they, um, I think first we're going to take Slim out. So, Angel uh, Cardenas. Angel Cardenas. Yo, great show, guys. I'm sorry to say this, but your points went right over half of these girls' head. LMAO, Salim is cool and look forward to more collabs. Also, some of these girls are snakes. Keep an eye out. Just in case they make a TikTok. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, why is it every time like a girl has a bad interaction, she runs TikTok and it's like, bro, why? Makes a video. No, we made the TikToks at. before. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. You're, yeah, yeah. you're right. He, he gets views. He's, he, no, he's talking about the girls that come on the show. Some of them will make a TikTok saying, fresh and fit are so misogynistic. And it's oh my like, God. You, okay, if we really are, pro prove that we are on the show. But they can't. It's just, uh, I'm just stating biological facts between men and women. You yeah. guys actually aren't as bad. Like, I seen a TikTok, like, one TikTok of y'all, and that's how I found out about y'all. But y'all actually aren't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, y'all aren't bad at all. Damn it. Thing. And I gave her a couple <laughs> chances. I didn't want to kick her off, bro. But once she said, it's my show, I was yeah. like, yo, get the fuck out of here, yeah. bro. She'll be petty. <laughs> like, uh, no, no, just get the hell out of here. I gave her a couple I'm chances. petty, too. You know? So, the little dirt. Uh, <laughs> Give There's someone. absolutely positivity. No reason for any man to be in a relationship. The United States is absolutely not a country that promotes the raising of family anyway. Just engage in interactional transactions. Keep moving. 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 Keep you stated facts and of like sometimes I didn't agree with it and like your thinking of the facts or like your opinion on some things, but that's normal. Everybody has their own opinion. But like you did state a lot of facts that I may have like factually I may have been wrong about, but my opinion is different, you know? Like in today's society. <laughs> oh my God. No, like tell me I'm lying. He did he did make a lot of clear points. Facts. He did. Yeah. He did. Clear I mean, facts. But there's a lot of things that I, that you said that I do disagree with, but everybody like has a right to their own opinion. But it's facts. No, no, but that's all not opinion, it. though. Opinions aren't necessarily f facts. Facts are not everything is a fact. Yeah, the not majority of what no, I said it, was, it, was it, fact, especially in like the your biological. opinion. The definition is a fact. So, what, give me an example of something you didn't disagree with, one thing. So, you said that a woman's nut doesn't matter because only a man's nut matters in order to produce children because that's what sex that's is. That's the truth. Biologically, but, facts. biologically. But, that is the truth. But what? When a woman nut, when a woman nuts, it produces like the chance of a child being born. Four. That's without without oh sperm. Oh my god. No, no, with sperm, it does. No. What? Mm -mm. Okay. So mm -mm. when a woman nuts, like mm -hmm. when you orgasm, it does. It doesn't. It does. You can look it up. Do mm. me a favor, look it up, and then tell me if I'm wrong or not. Look it up. I've never think, seen a man think, get pregnant. So here's the thing. Um, what I stated. I'm not saying that it doesn't. <laughs> it, I'm not saying that a woman needs to orgasm, but it does help. Okay, but the 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 fact is is that the man needs Bruh. to ejaculate for life to be created. Period. Versus or, the woman does not. No, that that was that was a fact that was stated. So that is a fact. They could also a fact. So that is not an opinion. <laughs> it is an opinion that it's irrelevant. But no, in order, Sorry. it's an opinion that it's irrelevant <laughs> for a woman to nut if you're having sex. In, now in, for sex, if you're trying to have children. Yes, it is irrelevant for a woman to nut. But if you're having sex, sex is for both that was my men stance, and women. Though. That was, uh, my stance was a woman's nut is irrelevant when it to comes to the biological, children. like, to, to create children. To children. So that's what I was trying to climax, say. You didn't Can say increase your chances. Sex, that's, I, I, I did clarify that. I think that's what they're, like, well, you, yeah, you didn't say reproduce. So, 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 so the factual part is a woman's nut is irrelevant to the creation of children. That is a fact. A reproduction. Okay? Yeah, of reproduction. But the way, then... Well, you have more of a point of contention with how I said it. You didn't like how I said it, no, but it's still true, though. No, the way I took it was that you meant when it well, comes to sex. Well, how you take sex, it is irrelevant. It's no, what but I'm stated. letting you know why I said what I said. What, how I took <laughs> it was that you said, well, when having sex, a woman's nut is irrelevant. 
sex is to like creating children for, to creating for, children yeah, for creating children <laughs> but having sex no um sex is an emotional like it's for women it's emotional and stuff like that he for said men, for it's life not. for life okay for kids, i understand though, for that life. i understand <laughs> that i heard that who said that who's talking <clears throat> <laughs> Chris in the back. Chris in the Chris, back. Chris, who's Chris? Chris, Chris, stay in the Eric. back. So, like, when when you asked us, right? You asked everybody on the panel, when you're having sex, is it important? Like, who's not is more important when you're having sex? He did not say for repro- for reproduction. That's I did say point. for reproduction. No, you didn't. Yeah. 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 I clearly yeah. stated for reproduction. So close yeah, out. Yeah. 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 Fact, you okay. Uh, well, Violet. you didn't hear a lot of things during this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, it, uh, but, that. You know that's you the issue. That. And you I know how you said it. He says it a lot of times. You heard that? You heard that? Did he say it? Yeah. At the end, at the end, he did say it. At the beginning, it was like, yeah, that's not what he was saying. Is it important for you? Tell me, I'm lying. But you can't tell me, I'm lying. Now you know what? He said reproduction. I'll get triggered. He yeah, because no. here's the thing. And this is the perfect example. Honestly, this is a very, I don't know, he was a guinea pig for this, but this is a perfect example of what I mean when I say that women are more interested in how things are conveyed yeah. versus what is conveyed. What I said was a fact. It, you just didn't like how it made you feel. Yeah. And that's the difference between how men and women communicate. A man can say a fact, but he says it in a certain way. I don't like the way. Oh, fuck. And then they <laughs> argue against that shit. But the reality is, biologically speaking, a woman's nut is irrelevant to the production of life. And that is the fact that I stated. However, you're kind of trying to say it's an opinion. No, you stated no, at the fact. end. That's what I'm saying. No, I I'm said in the beginning. I actually said that in the beginning. Ladies. I didn't hear that in the beginning. At the end, I heard you it. You didn't hear a lot of things. She heard it. He said she it. heard in it. In the he beginning of the podcast? Yeah, we all heard it at the end. didn't hear that in the beginning. It's convenient. Yeah, you hear that? You heard that? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, he said it. He said it. Okay. Okay. At the okay. end, okay. So, you did say so, after so, we talked about who's nut was more important. Yeah, and why it was more important in our One mic at a time. Three hours later. Three hours later. Thoughts on the show? Yeah. Um, Thoughts on the show? Yeah. Um, honestly, I mean, I came here to be mentally stimulated, so that definitely happened here today. Um, there was a lot going on. A lot of things were said. A lot of things were thought. Um, all in all. It's fair game. Everybody's opinionated. Everybody has their own idea of how they feel and how things should fucking be. So, I mean, I think everybody here is rooted in how we feel about our shit, as well as like probably anybody else. No, we go off of facts over show. here, not our feelings. I think we have my feelings mm, out of everything. Eh. We took our feelings out of it. 100%. Yeah, we did. Yeah. No, he took his feelings out of it for sure. He barely talked. Yeah. Tell me where, where we use feelings. Tell me. Please okay, tell us. So well, I was, so I was asking her. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Ah, uh, feelings. <laughs> where did we use feelings? Let it out. Uh, I don't know. I can't think right now. Yeah, so you make so an accusation with no proof. Stupid. Fantastic. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What you about can't you? make this Based shit up, bro. You can't. you can't make this shit up. Let's say shit. Don't want to know. Thoughts on the show. Um, it was it was nice meeting everybody. Shout out to you. Shout out to Con Candy. Appreciate it. Nice meeting you. Cool. What about you? I had a great experience. You look, right. you look, you're just happy so to be cute. here. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, like, so yeah, yeah. Well, she, uh... I mean, I didn't come on here trying to like stir the pot or, yeah. you know, get kicked off or whatever. I just wanted to see what happened and yeah, hopefully yeah. gain another like side of knowledge. Question You said you have a lot of brothers. I have one brother. You have brother. Okay. But I have a lot of cousins. There, so. Okay. A lot of male cousins. Mm-hmm. Have you heard these conversations before? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I saw Are you a lot of nodding. Me? Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, fair I mean, enough. I don't know. That's why I feel like Merch. when you're around it, it's environment a lot, you know, with how you uh, react to things like this. Like, I can just tell by people at the panel how they reacted, like, not in specific, but just in general, you know, like, it's all about how you're brought up. You get a tough skin when you're around a guy calling you a pussy your whole life. Shout out to my brother. Yeah, but, <laughs> and, yeah you know, like, it's all it's all fun. And like, and also, too, it's, it's all statistical, like, things that he was saying are facts. Yeah, they're facts. They're- and, uh, biology she... making kids guys i'm sorry but they're right like <laughs> art orgasm yeah. has nothing to do with making a baby <laughs> and uh she dm me on instagram instagram wanted to come on and it was glad pretty to have you. Yeah. Uh, you and and it's very um i've noticed on the show typically when women really fight against what i say i've noticed that t- th- there's not a lot of like male figures in their life or those guys haven't been honest with them you know maybe they had a boyfriend here or there that lied or whatever it may be but when a girl has brothers or a dad or whatever, she they knows. tend to understand what we're saying. Because yeah. a lot of guys lie to women, bro. Like some of the things I might have said, you might have heard for the first time because dudes lie to get laid, bro. They'll yep. tell you, oh, mm-hmm. girl, I love you. Oh, career. you got blue hair. I want to fuck that. <laughs> You're a boss, man. Come over here, girl. Do you want to marry it? And you got long nails. Independent. I want to fuck that. Long nails. Men, men lie to get laid, bro. Like they don't tell Take the grippers. truth. 
So it yeah. is what it is. And I know you got a lot to say. So go ahead. We'll give you the last one. I don't really got much to say. Like, you feel me? I got my I opinions. You. Y'all mm-hmm. got y'all's. Y'all got y'all facts. You know, like I was raised a certain way. So I feel a certain ways. I went through certain experience. So I feel the way that I feel. You know, you put all them <laughs> cat hats on. But right. it's like, if I'm living, you feel me? This is my shoes. I'm walking in. You Merch. can't tell me about myself. But Merch. Oh. <laughs> she might have to end with a freestyle. I feel like. nah. yeah, merch. I feel like merch. Yeah, I don't took all my energy. <laughs> okay. I'm tired. All right. So uh we got a show coming up on Monday. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna be out till Monday, guys. Yeah, 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 guys. Yeah, so yeah. Kat, yeah, we're gonna have a show for y'all on Monday, guys. Uh, Money Monday. We're gonna have uh Brandon Carter on. So we're gonna talk to y'all about making money. Um and yeah, man. Other and last but not least, Salim, hold the show for you, bro. bro. Hold the show for you, and then where can they find you? Show is actually amazing. It was very, very comical. Cause, like, <laughs> your first sing, Frank Castle yo, sing, it, sing on the screen versus being a person. Did, did it like shock you in a way or like that shit that just happened? <laughs> <laughs> he don't play, so I, mean, I gave her a chance, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it's it very, it is very comical because, like, looking at it from my standpoint of view, and I, I get exactly what you guys are saying, but like the fighting back. I mean, you're never gonna change it, but. I understand everything. <laughs> it's, it's very, yeah, it's, girls are gonna. They're they're always gonna say fuck and, and, you or whatever. They're not gonna yeah, agree, I which mean, is fine. Should have yeah, wanted to be safe. Don't I mean, say it. I said that shit a thousand it's, times. I ain't even hear y'all like. It's really y'all. not their fault. I mean, they, they, I mean, they are pretty ladies. They get DMs from everybody. So I mean, yeah. And this show really yeah. is for the guys to learn out there. Like you guys, figure it out. Like this is just how a lot of girls think it is. What yeah, it is. Since a lot of y'all apparently don't get laid. Maybe y'all can learn how to from who from this show. Okay. All yeah, right. I mean that was great. It is nigga. Great we time. just want everybody to know you begin late, huh? Me? No, I'm a bird. I'm like uh, I've only uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. yeah, we don't get girls on a panel no, uh, at all. No. All right, guys, we'll catch you uh on Monday. Peace. Peace guys. <laughs> all the night.